Session 12, Delta Green and Possible Landscapes. Yes. Um, the recap's going to be relatively short, I think, this week. Last episode, you guys, I think it was uh, still September 2nd, 2015. You guys were at the Dorchester house. Cal two sessions ago, you left off talking to an orderly. And then the whole last session was speaking with the orderly and then meeting a new individual. So you guys were on the third floor of the Dorchester house, psychiatric facility in the Boston area, um, investigating the disappearance of six Delta Green um, agents. You meet with Dr. Dallin and the head nurse, Esther Semagina. Um, they kind of show you around a little bit of the facility um, that is got three levels, high security. And then as you go down the levels of the building, the security lowers and uh, the less, I guess, violent or uh, riskier patients are. And as you're doing that, you come across an orderly uh, in the hallway that's talking to a duffel bag. And that would be Mr. Richard Bryce. You guys want to know who he's talking to in that duffel bag, and you come to find out it's a mummified child who, who, who tends to, dare I say, speak to you, whisper to you, maybe not all of you at the same time. Um, they take Dr. Richard Bryce away in, in the hospital. You guys decide to... Um, some point, Maya splits. She um, went with Richard to try and separate him from the mummy. That's right. That's right. To correctly. see if there was any clearing yep. of his head. And exactly. in so doing, um, Mantillo and Mignon walk down the hallway a little ways and run with in, the mummy. With the mummy and run into uh, a patient that's wandering the halls by the name of Ed. Myler uh, Wist, uh, who's on the third floor. He's carrying around a journal, it appears, um, where he jots down notes and, and journals. Um, seems a little peculiar, but the doctor or the nurse says, hey, you know, they're case-by-case -case basis. Um, some individuals get privilege at, over time. Says, we didn't really mean that this third floor was all locked down stuff. We were just pretending. Yeah, yeah. Well, for exactly. the most part. Um, and he is known because Maya comes back and realizes that this is the Ed Myler Wist, um, uh, known as the, uh, the perpetrator and the, the, uh, child murderer of his family, um, which was portrayed in the press as the poor little rich boy murders, um, where in California, Ed had... Uh, pleaded not guilty by reason of insanity and essentially on a 16th birthday uh, murdered his father, mother, and sister with a shotgun in 2010. And then somehow was transferred to this facility, which is kind of incongruous with their normal. Very strange. Yeah, being a non-military personnel. Yeah. Yes. Yes. For government. So at the end of the last session, Mignon feels compelled to go to the bathroom and uh, in the restroom. Compelled? I had to go. Yeah, you had you to go. You were compelled. You know, that these, you know, these RPGs, sometimes. Compelled. Sometimes these RPGs just, they don't get realistic enough. And I think, you know, <laughs> there's times when. The player character has natural <laughs> functions. So. Yeah, none of us X carded it. So I guess it, it happened. <laughs> right. And so then uh, Mignon goes to the bathroom and runs into Ed Mahler Wist in the bathroom where he leaves a note behind that states, How did you find me? Question mark. I thought you had left. In any case, they are still here at night. And that's where we left off. So 
I would imagine, Mignon, you come out of the bathroom. Maya and Mantillo are there waiting for you patiently. Probably. Yeah, no, that seems right. <laughs> Maybe they, um, they, they left them so, there. Uh, well, before, so t tell us where the mummy child are and where I, is I Richard think I right have now. the mummy child at the moment. Oh, you're That's carrying it. That's right. Yeah. Because yeah. 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 we were going to go downstairs. We were like getting yeah. it out of here. Yeah, I took yeah. it off yep. of uh, Trunk of uh, uh, Mignon's we hand. We never made it to the elevator. That's yep. right. We were about to leave. That's right. Mm -hmm. Um, I exit the bathroom. Uh, Mantia seen me look a little strange, but uh, definitely more white and uh, like quickly shuffling to where she is and uh, lean oh, in. Yeah. And I'm like, uh, he was in the bathroom. So that's weird. I didn't see him go in. Well, he was there. Uh huh. And, uh, he gave me this. How did you find me? I thought you had left. You think that's a period after left? I thought you had left. <laughs> I'm not looking at his penmanship. No, no, because I want to know. Like, I thought you had left in any case, or I thought you had left. <laughs> In any case, they're still here at night. Dude, the guy's a wacko. Oh, well, everyone's a wacko. Uh, it, yeah, I depending mean, on the day, but like, he's a 24-7 wacko. Well, they've given him permission to walk around, but yeah, so who do you think's here at night? What do you think this is about? Did you ask him? <laughs> I was busy. Well, you should have went in and asked them. All right, I'll go to the bathroom. <laughs> he's not there he left what do you mean he left you mean we didn't see him go in or come out i was busy i don't know me i mean i'm looking at, at my oh, this one like yeah the bathroom's down around the corner so i don't know if that matters okay so 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 we didn't have like direct line of sight okay. yeah no. so are, is well, the nurse still with us yes standing there wondering what is going on do you uh so uh Samagina, Miss Miss uh, Samagina, do you? Uh, I mean, obviously, you've been working with uh, Mister Wist for some time. Is uh, paranoia one of his things? Mm, paranoia? Uh, oof, I, I I wouldn't really. I'm not quite sure if that's exactly his diagnosis by the doctor. Um, um, and and frankly, he would have more information on that, but I don't think that's that's one of his ailments. But uh, I wonder why? if it's the. Do you think they is the is us is the agent is the missing? This is back to Maya and Mignon. Do you think they is referring to the the missing patients? Because I would. I mean, that makes total sense. That that is what I assume. Therefore, I don't think the period make doesn't matter where it is. That Maya crazy. hasn't crazy hasn't seen the card yet, so she takes it. Yeah, she reads it <laughs> during most of this. Her jaw has just been like you could see a muscle. Just she's she's been kind of scanning. Just you know, people coming and going, inmates who are not inmates, but patients who are either supervised or not. This whole thing seems off from when Ed just kind of strolled up the way he did. The guy with the duffel bag. So. The whole facility seems freaky now. So she's trying to get an idea on like the regular comings and comings and goings. But when she reads the card, she's just like, she shakes her head. And she quietly says, we need to get his journal. He had a journal. So the only thing I could think of from the note is the first two sentences, Mantillo, like you said, are to us. The how did you find me? And I thought you had left. I think that is like right now. The, in any case, they're still here at night. The thing that's strange to me is, why didn't he just tell us that in the hallway? Why did he have to write a note? Right. And the only reason you'd write a note is because the nurse is with us. And if he is told not to say anything about it, I think that's why he had to slip me a note. Albeit at a time right. which is very not good for slipping notes to somebody. But, you know, Are we anyway. whispering right now? Because the nurse is here. standing right no, there, right wondering here. like, "What is? What is it? I'm sorry. She's is there something? What, what seems to be the problem? 
Agent, My we're not Scott, sure if so there's I don't a problem. Even care if she's there or not. Agent Maya says we need a private room so we can discuss uh, the you know the work that we're doing here for for the doctor. Um, can we just get a, one of these rooms or one on the first floor just quickly? Sure. She takes you down just right wow. this way. She takes Did you, you just the... check us into a private room in a mental institution? <laughs> That's right. Slam lock. Here you're checking. I have my sleeping, <laughs> have my sleeping bag in the trunk. <laughs> get your p- pajamas. Let's see a I'm presuming there's like a there's like a meeting room in the administrative room or something. Central. Central. Yeah. 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 Bring you down to the first floor. As you came down the hallway from uh, admissions, you there's a conference room. Um, you could pull down the blinds. There's privacy. It's got a big conference uh, ta- conference room table in it with chairs around it, probably seats, probably close to 10 people around the table. All right. So when we go in, what's the – we described this construction before as like cinder block, I think. Yeah, right, I don't school, know how you guys school. grew up in schools, but I grew up in ones that yeah. were like fallout shelter, like yeah. – Blocks. Construction. So, yeah. Block, so, yeah. so Maya is going to say to the other two, she's going to say, have a regular conversation for a minute. And she ducks outside. She's going to see how soundproof this room is. Mm. Okay. So whether or not we can, we can, you know, have a, a secure conversation in there or not. If somebody's talking normal tone, it sounds relatively quiet. You, you don't hear okay. them, you know, there might so, yeah, be. We'll talk and... Yeah. Yeah. As a matter of fact, they okay. probably wouldn't hear you unless they saw you in there or you guys. Okay. You know, yell out. She, or, she, com- she comes back in. If the door locks from the inside, she'll lock it. Um, hmm. Okay. Probably doesn't if it's a meeting room. No. Yeah. Probably not. All right. So Maya's like, all right, we got, we, there's a lot going on here. We got some yeah. decisions to make. We got, she points to the duffel bag. She's like, we got to deal with that. We got to deal with this guy who just gave us the card. We got to stay here tonight. Yeah. If we're going to potentially see these people. Then remember, so none of who, this is actually an opera. I was just going to say, like, who brought us in? Like, I don't even understand why somebody knows something, but who you is know, that somebody? I feel like it doesn't even matter who brought us in at this point. Something's going on and we're going to have to tamp it down. The program knows, Jerry, right? They're on it. We're going to report to them in another day or so. So we'll have them, we'll have their support. But for, for now, we got to figure out as much as we can. Yeah. So we have three floors again. Is this another fourth floor situation there, Mantillo? Is that what you're thinking? Uh, uh, that's what I was asking when we first got here. Yeah, uh, but... That's what I'm thinking is that there's some place or maybe it's, maybe it's time instead of space. Maybe that's why they're here at night. So you know, maybe they're her- here between 11 and two 30 or something. Who knows? My only fear is that surrounding us in this building are non allies. Might even be people that are keeping this under wraps. And I don't even trust even here. I don't even trust that one in this who knows well i mean frankly our ally the last time we were all together was not i mean i trust you mignon more than i trust um mosby was that his name yeah yeah was that our handler yeah mosby no. more than i trusted mosby not no, our handler. I, I, what's his name i actually Sorry, take that of? as a heartfelt compliment I think it is. It is. I think. Sean, who was the drunk? The drunk Marcus, handler. Marcus. From, Mar- Marcus. Marcus. Yeah. Marcus. Yeah. Original, I, I trust you, original. Mignon, more than I trust Marcus. At this point. <laughs> Again, used to your Lupita, mess. Lupita kind of chuckles. She's like, "Marcus is a train wreck." I hope you trust him more. Exactly. So the other guy, the recent guy, was Exeter. Whoever Agent Exeter, Exeter is, Exeter, yeah. Isn't well, even yeah. A who knows who apparently. Exeter is? Yeah. So, so Maya pulls one of these out from her jacket. She keeps field notes. Like those are her little, uh, her little books. So she flips through nice. it and she's like, "Actually, you're gonna write a novel too." No, these are just so I remember things. Uh, Exeter told us that every, every single one of these people who disappeared had some contact with a book or something. Right? Yep. 
So we haven't seen any sign of that. That this um, Ed guy, Ed Wist, he's got a yeah. journal. We need to get a hold of that journal. All these right. are things we got to be knocking these things down. So hopefully before tonight, so we're a little better equipped when we're here. I don't even know if the doctor's going to let us stay overnight. Maybe he will, but I want to go get my gun from outside if we're going to be in here. That's going to be tough. Maya, did this guy, and I'm pointing to the duffel bag, did this guy talk to you? What do you mean talk? In your head. Sounds. I may, Sean, if I remember correctly, Maya did hear it, but less than the other two. There was not as much back and forth, and she was a little more aggressive about it. <laughs> she kind of told it to shut up, I think. I think you were a little more like cut this shit and like yep yep exactly so she's so she's just like I don't, yeah I guess I don't know something I don't know and he definitely uh, you definitely had a conversation with it right me yeah uh yeah I mean it was lengthy yeah okay and then yeah. it just shut up you haven't heard it since since I, grab, I grabbed the bag and I like listen you still in there. I mean, I feel like we didn't have to have to be close to it, even. I know, but it's just yeah. All Nothing's right. rationale here, so no, no, no. Well, I, that's I what I'm getting at. I just want to make sure we're on the same page in terms of how messed up this all is. Okay. So, so you were saying had, you want to I get the journal? The bag. I want to make what? sure it's still in the bag. Yeah, I'm not even confident it's still in the bag. But you look it's it, on the yeah, table, and I still okay. zip it open. Do I see it in the bag? Yeah, it's still there. Okay, and I and I is there anything the else in that bag? No. You want to go rooting around in there? Oh, you're the archaeologist. <laughs> I mean, I, th I think that if you ask, like, is there anything else in the bag that you are probably checking to see if there's well, I wasn't anything. asking yeah. you. I was, oh. I was asking. Oh, you're uh, asking Mignon. I was asking Mignon. Oh, I guess. Yeah, he had unzipped it. I was like, is there I'm anything else in that bag? I'm not checking the bag. Well, I'm not Mignon, you, you asked, like, you got into, like, archaeology and anthropology and checking. I did. Yeah. I did. But I now, say, fine, and I'll go check in the bag. I will go unzip the bag all the way and, like, take the mummy out and look in the bag. Yeah, there's no nothing else in the bag. All right. Okay. I'm going to turn it over. Like, I have no idea what this thing looks like, but it's just sort of like a, it's just a, like a doll wrapped up in paper. As far as I'm concerned, wrapped up in cloth. Um, like, be careful with that. That is like hundreds, thousands years old. Sure. And it talks. And it fucking talks. Yeah. Be careful with this, right? Put it down. Put it back in the bag. Close that <laughs> shit up. Looking around, look at the back yeah. side. Any markings on it? Any writing? Anything? No. Just, I already just, looked. I already looked. No, you, you wouldn't didn't. even know anyway. You didn't even know if you there was anything else know. in the bag. I, I'll put back. it back in. Now we're back. I feel much more comfortable. Our relationship is back. Perfect. Yeah, me too. I mean, it probably You're has a little weird there. It probably has the consistency and the this this uh, the density of like a, a a pretty dense pinata. Like I think you yeah, know, right? Right. right? Yeah. Paper mache full of sand. Don't, well, don't give her any ideas. I'm, well, <laughs> don't give her any ideas. I don't know how it's often the, Edwin. I, I don't know there how often, no... often Edwin handles a, a child pinata. mummy. So I, right. you know, Mantio, there was no candy inside. <laughs> I am sure. Not need to scan it to know. Okay. Yeah, Put it back we should event. scan it though. We should. That. That's that's an idea. Actually, there probably is a CT scanner here somewhere. This is a hospital. Oh, you think there's a medical? It's not a. It's it's. You think they ship any of these patients out when they get hurt or sick? There's no way. That's true. They that's definitely true. They must have, have a full med bay a here. Sick bay and a whole thing here. Yeah. How are we going to get your gun in here? Well, before we before we go there, Edwin, your gun's just it. downstairs, right? Yeah, it is. Yeah. All right, we'll figure that out. Because mine's out I'm, in the car. I'm forgetting, guys. Who um. What were we going to send away to the lab or, or go to like the Boston? It's the, the bugs lug? and the sand and the. the That's right. The from the phone. Yeah. So if, if they so don't, so if they don't have, if they don't have <laughs> facilities, I know if they don't have facilities here for various CAT scans and like magnetic resonance and all that kind of stuff, uh, we could potentially go to the, go to the university and do all, the, all that shit there. But yep. Maya sits back and she's like, I was going to give the thing to, it, we need to put it in a green box somewhere and let the program take care of that, but maybe that's not the best idea. I don't know. I mean, here's another idea. Yeah. We, get, we give this thing 
back to Richard Bryce and see what he does with it. Here's a, it. Here's a weird question. What if Richard was talking to us? You mean like about ventriloquism or something? Some, yeah, sure. I, I, did I didn't hear it in my ears, though. I'll tell you that. Did you like hear it, it when, I, head. when I walked him to the other rooms that the agents were in? Well, that's about when the mummy stopped talking to us. I think it stopped talking because you came over and you were very flippant and not taking it seriously because it was talking to me fine. I think if you had a ventriloquist in the room, you would be able to tell where the voice is coming from. Well, I was thinking a psychic. I was thinking some sort of mind stuff going on here. Ooh. Not like, yeah, it was, it was, like it was definitely talking in my head. I was going to say, that's not a psychic yeah, event. No, no, it's not a psychic. It's actually better. Uh, whatever, whatever <laughs> telepathy better. is like, uh, the reverse psychic, yeah. I don't know. Like I heard it in telepathy. my head. That is telepathy. Yeah. Huh. Right. Yeah. So why is it why is it any weirder to think that Bryson was talking to us than to think that this mummy it's was not. talking to us, right? Did you, well, did you see him? And he was controlled by this thing. He was like a slave. Whether he was controlled he, or not, he definitely had a yearning for it. Like he, he thought he had his happen. gym stuff in his bag. Yeah, that's true. But what we if something even... took, that's what I'm thinking though. What if something took over his brain and was somehow using I don't know. I mean a mummy is what? It's a, what's in a mummy? Like formaldehyde and, and bones? And usually usually like uh Can we look at the after dry skin? like usually not even formaldehyde, like some other kind of embalming chemical right? that they used back then and, and it was like there's no like, brain there. It's a mummy. Like, right. There's nothing. There's, there's, there's no nothing. Circus that's, that's system, kinda, nothing. It's a mummy. That's what I'm getting at. Like, if there's something talking to us, it's not the mummy. I mean, maybe there's like a bug in the mummy, or maybe there's some bug in Bryson's You're head. You're not or... cutting the mummy open. You're not. You mean like a bug that was in the phone? I grabbed the bag. Yeah, like some kind of... Like scr scratches at her ear, just like... I, <laughs> I grabbed the bag. Sure. Yeah, I don't want to cut it. I mean, okay. Yeah. Regardless I'm just, of all of these ideas. Yeah. What? We're, we don't know the answer to any of this. Nothing. We got nothing. So we can keep talking, but we, we have no idea. We, we have to. And I look to Maya, you know, because she's all about facts. Yep. Right. We got to find something like there's nothing. There's no but shred of anything. So, Ma so Maya's like, we need to find the book that they were all connected to. We need to get his, um, we need to get Ed's journal. And read yeah. it. I think I think the book and maybe I mean I don't even know if we even care to CT scan this thing but I Wait. think at least the book gives us direction like we have to find this book I, I don't know if it's his journal I don't even good. know if it's his journal though what if this yeah. is a, a, a radio wrapped up I mean, we have no idea what this is right it looks like a should, it could be anything we, should, we need to get it looked at by like okay. practitioners right. by I agree. Well, there's something we can actually do. But we, it's have, not about, yeah. but we haven't, there's all kinds of things we can do. We haven't checked like the libraries. There may be a library on each floor for the inmates. So the book might be there. It might just be on the shelves. For all did, we we even, did we even technically check every room? No. All six. For a hidden, yeah. For a hidden book. Yeah. Like under the mattress or stuff. No, in we, the need, tile, we, need, we need to go tile. to every room. All right. But we also need to figure out what to do with that thing. She points at the mummy. I got it. I got it. We just carry it. It's not. I, I got it. Okay. What's going to happen? And then we're going to be agreed. We're going to stay here. We're going to stay here tonight. I'm going to write that down. I guess so. Yeah. No. With this happen. note, I think we got to stay here tonight. We got to get that clear with the doctor. Yeah. Maybe I'll I'm have sure, the same conversation. I hope with him we can about. have some pull with this. I mean. Yeah. I mean, the doctor wants us here to figure this stuff out. So. And he's an ally, what? at least, or at what least if, uh, a friendly. Like he, he knows there's a possibility of weird stuff going on. Maybe. What if Ed is not the most dangerous person that walks around here? Of course, that he scares be? the crap out of me. You know who the most dangerous person who walks around here is? Me. <laughs> I hope that's true. <laughs> Maybe Maya. We also weren't we going to check um, <laughs> Richard's? Maybe Maya. Richard's locker. Definitely Maya. <laughs> Richard had a locker. Remember he said he's that's his gym stuff, and that's where he got yep. like so he may have picked the mummy up there. 
you know what? We need to go like to the basement, to the six rooms, to the libraries. We need to just hit that. Let's start doing it. We're shaking yes. this place down. We need to. Let's do it. Let's start with the... Have we seen any libraries or common rooms with books? We haven't really seen anything. We the first like, floor of office, No, we had a huge tour. A bathroom? No, no. It was we a had, bathroom. We had a huge tour of the whole, of like, we went all yeah. over the place. We just kind of had it. There's, there's no like a common room with books. Locker room, probably a men's and a woman's for the orderlies. On the different wing. Oh, the locker rooms for the right, yeah, yeah. the middle. Let's All just right. ask let's just ask Dr. Uh Dallin if the in if the patients have access to a library or something. Hey, can we right. can we each have one desire and then we figure out what order we're gonna do? I would love to one desire. Out. Jerry, you're not writing a story here. What do you want to do? One desire. <laughs> What's our action? What are we gonna do? I, I I'm an all. You guys are bang bang. I'm put it out. Ten. I would like to know and check off the list that we have searched all of the rooms. Done. Let's, let's do, do it. it. That's it. Let's. We're here. We're up here. Let's just get that yeah, over with. Nurse. Tired of we don't know. I open the I open the door mm-hmm. out of the conference room. Yeah, so, uh, so we don't have keys to the room, sir. Summon Gina comes down and says, "Oh yes, yes." We cast summon GM. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> summon GM. Summon GM. Uh, we're uh, we're gonna start by looking at each of the the six rooms. Mm-hmm. Um, of course. See, see if we, we already looked at left two. I think one or two. I think yeah. Uh, yes, yeah, so of course we can. I can show you uh, absolutely. Uh, would, and there still excellent. aren't new people in those rooms, right? No, no, no. We have We're not. Um, we have okay. not had anybody occupying them since. No. Okay. Okay. This way, um, they're all on the third floor. So if you just want to follow me, who do you think the most person, walking walking most dangerous person here. walking around here is? Yeah. <laughs> We're taking a poll. We're taking. A- Maya doesn't have a gun, so it's not mine. No, I. That's not the question we're asking, Mantillo. The question is: oh. Is does other than Ed, our buddy Ed, is anyone else free to walk around up here on the third floor? Well, I mean, during the day, it's not. It's you know, folks aren't always constrained. Now, Magina, it's a yes or no question. But it's a case by does case. Anyone else walk around or no? On occasion, there is. We give. The, we can't keep people up, you know, locked in cells all day. This isn't that type of facility. If that were the case, would oh, they be in prison? That's what the third floor was for. It's a restricted, closed-off area, and for so who do you got dangerous. down the hall? Slayer Sam killed fifty-seven. She gets like all the- like, whoa, whoa, what's? I'm Jerry, sorry, I'm, you know, she's like, yeah. uh, um, I'm, I'm sorry. So, I'm sorry. It's- what? I, 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 I'm sorry. Like, like she's taken I aback and like starts kind of shaking. I, I, I apologize. I I truly apologize. I'm just I get a little jumpy, and like Ed tapped me on the shoulder from behind in the bathroom, and I'm not like I'm sorry. I apologize. Oh, that the uh, okay. And she's trying to gain her composure after. Hey, what Peter says, be, take being, a minute. Being for... being like. Sorry about his outburst. Jerry, can you come here for a minute? She pulls Jerry aside. Quietly <laughs> whispers. No, she just says, we're in a fucking <laughs> mental hospital. You think there are some dangerous people in here? They're yeah. all dangerous, And Jerry. I'm afraid it's all rubbing of off of me. This is the problem. All right, calm down. There's something you can do while we search these rooms. Get yourself a card. You need to write Ed back a note. They can what? In. Yes. Since you when? Write I Write him back that. a note. So that we, I just, it just occurred to me. He wants to communicate with you, but he wants to do it like you secretly. Want me to be the friend of. You're the writer. You need, we need to find out more yeah. what he knows and influence him to get his journal or to find out somehow what he knows. He knows something. He's our best friend. Five dead Ed. I got to be his pen pal. What the I have, hell? I'll, ha- yeah, I'll have your back. a good idea. I got your back. Like, of course you do. <laughs> All right. Let's check these rooms, but you'd be thinking about. How, what you're going to put on this card, all right? That's your job, Jerry. It's your one job. Right, at least I'm occupied. Yeah, exactly. Well, we could do that while we, Sean, while we do the the, the remaining four rooms. That works. <laughs> okay. Uh, so she, so she looks rather nervous and says, "Um, okay, uh, right, right this way then." 
right? <laughs> I wish we could give comfort her, Sean, but we can't. Yeah, We're she's... carrying a mummified <laughs> child. We're, it's just, it's not happening. It's just, it's... <laughs> <laughs> she's nervous. She's going to be nervous. So yeah. She takes you up to the third floor. Um, okay. And she, um, on the way, she actually kind of says, well, you know, I, I'll, I'll point out a few things. And she says, you know, here, and she goes, it's just this way, it's on the way. So we'll go down this way and I'll, I'll show you the cafeteria. And, the, and right. then she kind of goes towards, um, down a hallway and, and what appears to be what would have been probably by your observation uh, could have been at one time a school gymnasium. So it's a large room. It's on the ground floor. So you guys haven't gone anywhere from where the administration wing. Um, and she says all, all the patients, um, but on the, but the third floor um, eat breakfast at 9 a.m. and then lunch at noon and then dinner at 5 p.m. Um, and then she goes, of course, um, for security reasons, third floor patients eat under observation uh, on the third floor. Um, and then there are small staff attendants um, work in the cafeteria, cooking, uh, maintaining and serving meals. Uh, and then they're, they're occasionally assisted by trusted patients from the first floor. Again, this goes to, you know, rehabilitation, treatment, progress, you know, uh, we that you might have heard the doctor mention, and, and you know, the third floor is is obviously the most secure and restrictive. Um, but we do have to kind of when we when we see progress, there's there's privileges that are that are able to be extended, and then of course, as we feel that they're safe, uh, you know, safe safety to themselves and safety to others, then we kind of move them from the third floor to the second, and then subsequently down to the first floor. So, you know, we have even some individual patients from the first floor that, that helps with, with cafeteria uh, duties. And then the meals of course are, are, are relatively common. Um, and, and we serve them on, on paper plates and plastic utensils. One reason is, is staffing. And another reason is just, um, you know, budget and, um, of course, s- safety as well. So, and you can, you know, there's the cafeteria. John, is the g- gymnasium come cafeteria lunchroom? Is that in the middle administration building? So it serves both wings. Yeah, so yeah. They, they so, kind of come in male and female from the sides. Yeah, so yeah. That it's in like yeah. an E building. So it'd probably be on the the long part of the E, right? Gotcha. Yeah. And um, so she goes. Up. Kind of looks at you for approval as you look around the walls and the ceiling and and my assist to the do the patients have access to any libraries here for those who have the privileges to you know check out books magazines anything like that um no i mean there it depends again on the individual and the floor they're they're there are some restriction, obviously, on the third floor, but first floor, you know, if there's individuals that come to the facility with care packages and things of that nature, we, of course, want to, you know, go through those. But if we find something like there's a piece of literature or a book that somebody's bringing in for a patient and they're allowed to to have that and receive it, then then that's not a problem. Understood. So there may be some of the patients on the first floor, for example, probably have libraries themselves of care packages that have been brought to them. Yes. Um, and, and she says on the, on the first floor rooms are, are, are a little bit bigger, um, and, and a little less, little less personalized and, but feel more like hotel rooms here. And she kind of walks down and she's like, let's see, uh, let's see. I don't think kind of knocks on the door and she doesn't hear anything. And so she opens it up and you could see what appears to be what she conveys a, a, a bigger, bigger, less personalized room on the first floor and looks like a hotel room. There's it's kind of like a barracks room, I guess. Um, you know, there's a, uh, like, a, oh, like a locker type of armoire where they can, you know, hang their clothes and there's a little dresser and a little desk, but, you know, very you know, all wood, nothing too fancy. Um, 
carpeting. And so she goes, you know, so this is this is what a s- typical room on the first floor looks like. And then, of course, on the second floor, which I can I'm more than happy to show you, the rooms are much more personally decorated, um, you know, almost like a, a what, you know, would be well, a teenager's bedroom. They they're allowed to put up posters and, and photos. And if, you know, they they maybe play a musical instrument, that's that's something that we're certainly um, flexible with, depending on what the instrument is, of course. Um, but um, a little bit more almost co- college dormitory look at, and feel, I guess, an aesthetic. And so she keeps walking. And as as you do, she points out, she says, there are some small closet and in enclosures with like a single seat nurse station secured by a steel door. Um, and that the, and she says, you know, these are some of our nurses stations. They are um, in certain areas of the facility. Um, each one is shielded lock um, and, and opened with a nurse's key card um, specifically. And then of course the door is, is a large ballistic glass window that, that overlooks um, the hall with a small drop slide and tray to dispense uh, small items such as, as medicine. Um, and then inside each. So the whole, it's like a security door almost, right? Yes, yes, that's correct. So, so Maya's like, is this where the medication's all kept? Um, the medication isn't necessarily kept here. In, you know, there's, there's a, a medic, medical room of. A, pharmacy? A pharma, thank you. Yes, a pharmacy. I, she looks at Jerry like, yes, a, a pharmacy. Um, <laughs> Offer game. Yes, yes. <laughs> um, and, and and so there are basic um, um, pharmaceuticals that are stored in the nurse's station, but some of the stronger, more potent that are heavily regulated. Of course, there's, you know, a check-in, check-out, so we can keep control on those items and in, in inventory. So with the... Um, and then each in each in she looks at Jerry again. In each one, um, there's a closet. Uh, is a is a password locked computer and uh, a, a small desk, uh, as you can see. And then there's a wall of locked security drawers, um, which can be opened by a nurse and or orderly keys um, that contain the pharmaceuticals, as I mentioned. Um, so many of these overlook security uh, doors that can be buzzed open um, from inside uh, from inside the closet um, and shut again with a, a press of a button. Um, and then these doors can also be opened by a security card, of course. Um, and then there's there's 26 of these um, stations throughout the building. And when an alarm is triggered, these doors shut and lock. Maya's gears are turning. She's she's in like full on like federal marshal marshal investigator mode. Yeah. Trying to find a find a trail. She says, I have two questions. And thank you for the for this this part of the tour. Mm-hmm. This is helpful for us to all understand how the facility works. Does the is the facility a full hospital? Do you have X ray machines, MRIs? Oh no, no. We're we we do not have the capacity to do that. That's very expensive and, and we don't have the the uh, medical staff to to even do that. So if okay. somebody were to get injured, uh, under- we would have to take them off site. Understood. Understood. Um, all right. So for the six individuals in question who are missing, mm-hmm. yes. they were all on the on the the two different third or third floors, right? Yes, that's right. Men. Mm-hmm. And we're we've checked two of the rooms. We're going to check the rest. But we have not found like personal items. I don't think in the first two. Did they have rooms on the second floor too? No. Like they would they would come back to when they you know when they were reintegrated back into the population? No. No, not at this point. They were still all on the third floor. They were all. And good. they had no, no possessions that were locked in like a lockbox. She points through the nurses station to those little locked cabinets. She's like, you don't have like the equivalent of like when they get moved upstairs, you take their possessions and keep them somewhere. Um. It well in the beginning. Um. Through in processing and through that process, um, we, depending on the nature of how they arrive at our facility, would be dependent upon how we store their personal items. Typically, if we know their background, 
um, and we know that they're going to be up on the third floor, then we typically encourage, you know, uh, family members and, and close friends, uh, next of kin, things of that nature to, to withhold some of those personal items rather than have a store, you know, because uh, what eh, – we would love nothing more to have them bring a bunch of things with them and we put it in a storage locker. We just don't have the capacity to do that. And sometimes some folks take it to be they, – they get a little overzealous, if you will, and they end up thinking they're moving into a college dorm for a year of school. And all of a sudden we have all of this, these things in which the patient is not privy to actually have. So – as things are, are transitioned or there's talks of alleviating some of those restricted privileges, you know, we, we then we can reach out to those points of contact and let them know that, hey, you know, uh, we've res the restrictions that were formerly in place, they're, they're allowed X and Y, and, and then they can bring those in um, to the patient um, when they visit or, or if they want to send a package, um, we're able to, to, to facilitate that. So then, Maya gives her a, and mm -hmm, which lets her know that she's tired of this exclamation. <laughs> she kind of cuts her off and then says, and then, and then says, uh, is there any way that we could have you when we're done the tour, you just to make double sure that one of these six people didn't have what you're kind of what you're describing, like a small bundle, you know, that was held somewhere. Just let's double check to make sure they're. There are no possessions anywhere. Of it course. And, 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 you know, we, we are, we're, we're only human. And there, see, I think, hmm, how do I put this to you, Agent? Um, I think it's very, how do I put this? She kind of looks and she's trying to find the right words and kind of put it in a delicate manner. She says, um, I think what people mistaken when they first arrive at Dorchester House and they're not a patient or they're not a, a mental health um, industry worker or a physician of some kind, and they see the restrictions and 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 the, the, the obviously our nurses stations are very heavily guarded and and things of that nature. Is I think they automatically um, and especially I, I I mean no offense at this, but I think with people from law enforcement, they are used to a different type of facility, and with those facilities, as you know. Um, the patient type might be – might have some similar ailments, if you will. Um, but they are in a – how do I put it? In the prison prison population or the, the federal penitentiary, state penitentiary system, it's, it's a much different facility. Their purpose is, a, is, is quite a bit different. And I think that when folks come into our facility and they look at it and they say, well, you know, what is going on here? I think they're coming from a from that space, if you will. Um, and, and that's not, it, it just, that's not good or bad. It's just, we're different. And I think that's just understanding how, you know, mental health plays a role with, with, you know, safety and, and and treatment of folks that have had you know PTSD and and you know things of that nature. So um, it may seem a little unorthodox or maybe a little mo more uh, a less consistent than maybe if you were in a maximum security prison, for example, and the overall population is handled in one way all the time, the same way, no matter what. It, it's a little different when when dealing with with mental health here and, and yeah, so Eddie gets to walk around. We get it. Yeah. I, I just, I feel is, I, I apologize if I'm, I'm overstating it's, I just, if I felt, I felt that there might be some confusion there. That clears it up. We appreciate it. Let's, let's continue the tour and of let's course. end up at those four rooms we haven't Of seen. course, of course, of course. And, and I should go on. And is, so she starts walking again. And as she does, she's kind of talking as well. And she's now on the third floor um, and we'll get there. The rooms are, are a little bit more sparse than I mentioned on the first and second. Um, you know, typically, typical items are a blanket, sheet, pillow, um, slippers, clothing. And then there are... Um, bed restraints that we use on the third floor. Um, so it, it you, we'll see. I'll, I'll show you. And she keeps going. So sure enough, you get to the third floor, walk up the stairs, take the elevator. Um, and when uh, she takes you to one room, 
is there a specific room you want to, to see first? Yeah, we want to see the four rooms that the that, folks were I in. Underst- I understand that, Agent. Is there a specific room you would like to see or Which does one's it matter? closest? The first one. Okay. This, this one, right? The first one. Okay. First one, closest Gee, one. How? I, I just wouldn't want to take you to a room and then you wonder why I haven't taken yeah. you to a specific no. room, so... T how? How about that? T how? Okay. Out of, char- out of character for a second. I think we've been to Alvin's and Ray's. Is that right? I think so. I think I think that's right. All right. Elvin T-how. and Billabas. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Zombie and Billabas. I think we've seen. Okay. And we're gonna go to T how now. Okay. Sorry to interrupt you, Sean. No, no, that's fine. Um. So, very sparse. Like, not a lot to view in this room, and there's not a lot of things of interest that comes, you know, um, that stands out to you. Um, let's see. There's no floorboards to look under. There's no, no, it's all, gotcha. so, yeah, it's, it's like, really heavy, it's, I mean, it's concrete or... flooring with tile over it. We're going to gray hawk each blocks. of these rooms, just so you know. Yeah, sure. So we're going to gray hawk every one of them. The windows are, are, you know, um, does that mean you roll a D6 and if we get a one or a two, we find something? Like you, it, it means no, we check you under every bed, we look under every tile. We, <laughs> we are painfully describe it. Here, wa- Edwin, watch. Maya walks over to the toilet, looks at it. She takes the lid off and looks in the tank to make sure there's nothing in the tank. There you go. That's great hawking it. <laughs> that is great hawking it. <laughs> yeah. I, sl- I put the mattress, I slice it. Actually, they're, 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 all the, they're all not, the stuff. they don't all have it. tanks. They right. usually don't. Stone. Usually it's well, inside the wall, yeah. yeah. Right. Uh, There's right. not a Straight toilet in the, the room, is there? Straight in the wall. And they're usually stainless steel. Uh, I, does Well, I don't know. Does it matter this, if this there's vintage? a toilet in the room? I don't know. What a minute. I mean, there was the bathroom well, that it went to down the well, hall on the you know, floor. So. I mean, if, so, if a visitor has to, if a visitor or a staff member has to go to the bathroom, they're right. not going to bust in somebody's room to use That's it. That's true. Yeah, true. <clears throat> All right, so... So anyway, we yeah, check the room, the room and we move on if there's nothing to find. Okay. So that's one room. You go to the next one. She, you know, whatever, which one? So Tia. Lamac. Lamac. Okay. Well, that's, the other, that's the other building. So we'd probably go to see Thon. Yeah, wait, first, Tihau, stick, stick to the guys' rooms first. Thomas Prutoff. Thomas Prutoff. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I'm sorry. Tommen. 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 Yeah. Prutoff. Same thing. Like, very little personal possessions. Very, like you are surprised at the c- complete and utter mundaneness of these these rooms. There's nothing. But and then the, like there's not even a slipper left in any of these. Mm-hmm. Like it's just everything that's is what gone. Blue. That's what I was talking about. Like where yeah. are their personal possessions? Just there. They must like. So like the pillow and the blanket is there. Like that's it. Yeah. And the yeah, the pillow blanket, pillow uh, slippers are probably there. They're probably on the bed. Like toothbrush, like the, all that stuff it, is just sitting there. The toothbrush is there. The toothbrush is okay. over there. The toothbrush is okay. over yeah, here I got in it. one yeah. room. Yeah. We're in just another room, the slippers are yeah. under the bed. The slippers are under the desk. Right. The slippers are on the other oh, side the of the bed, like a desk built into yeah. like. The but we don't wall. find a book. That's really the important piece. Yes, yeah. yeah. you we don't find a book. You 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 are. Much like the players, very like there's nothing here. There's there's yeah. It's very and simplistic. In one, in one room only, yeah. we did find the collage on the you wall. You did right? find the right. collage in one of them. Yes, one of room. Yes. Okay. Yep. All right. Yeah. And we can move pretty quickly. If we're you know come in and we yeah. So and if the if the women's rooms are the same, they right? are. They are all the okay. same. Okay. Yeah, we can skip that then. The slippers are in one spot. Like there is nothing that goes. It's all about well, the slippers. This, this is weird. Like this is strange. Like there's. Should have said it. Like, there's a book here. <laughs> it's because one of them no. they had the slippers. The left foot yes, was on the right, right side, and vice versa. Uh, why does this room left have slippers. two left? Uh, yeah, two yeah. left slippers. <laughs> yeah. One of them was upside That's down. It. Clothing. Spend another were upside hour. Down. This one We're has clothing. The with two left feet. This one Where has less clothing. This one has clothing in a bundle. This one has okay. it hanging up in the All right. closet. Like, All right. You, know, you, know, you can say, you know I'm, I'm, I'm fine yeah. with that as yeah. a player. I'm yeah. fine with just like, yeah. you don't find anything. Yeah. They're, yes. they're yeah. really. Exactly. Yeah. And, and so here's a, here's a less boring angle. <laughs> when we're walking, yes. when we're walking past Ed's room and we ask her where Ed is, hmm. Lapita's like elbow and Jerry, like put the fucking card under the, under the door. And she also, before you hand it over, Lou, she says, Make sure you ask him about the book. 
write that on here. You didn't tell me what to write. So there's a moment of just like, because we're, we're having to be Hold quiet on, outside the door. To this. Well, and the nurse is standing there, like wondering what like, you guys are just talking no, about. We, we, oh, we, we let her get a little bit ahead. Oh, okay. Then, I got you. Okay. And fall back. But however, when she probably will notice Sean when he's writing now, yeah. the PD will you know, move forward and say, We're coming. We're coming. We just had to talk about something. Got it. Of course. <laughs> some notes. Is he, is he now? The doc, the, the <laughs> nurse is like talking to Mantillo, obviously being distracted, and you're coming down the hallway. All right. Mignon's no, got a big no. eight and a half by eleven sheet of paper. No, I have a call. sharpie marker, <laughs> silly <laughs> smiley face on it. Spray paint. Yeah. No, this is good. Duck roll so, of duct tape. You know, his teeth. And it says, "Dear Ed, here is Eddie. Says, Dear Eddie, <laughs> strike Scratched through out. Ed." That was a little too like flippant. So familiar. I went with Ed. <laughs> Thanks for the note. It was nice strike through. Interesting. Meeting you today. Is there anywhere we can talk without the staff being aware? Your friend, strike through, buddy Jerry. Hmm. And Nothing then on the, the back. Oh, okay. Thank and you. on the back, it says, Oh, yeah. What do you know about the book? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yes. Very, yes very, Jerry. very good. I would now. I thought and, I did good. As I a game master good. in providing handouts now, I would only expect you to take a snapshot of that and provide that handout. Put it in the foundry. To the, to the, to the game right master. Right. Yeah. It's done. It's done right. Absolutely. I know. The yeah, right. I think you should, you should go down to the post office right now. <laughs> <laughs> Get a, we'll wait. an actual postmark and dog-eared. <laughs> Do it. Love you, it, Lou. Can you that put was, some water damage on that thing, too? The green symbol on there, please. Right. So he must have found an old piece of paper. See, what, what confused me about the note in the bathroom is that the, that's an old piece of paper that has a thumbtack hole in it and water damage. And so I feel like, so I felt it was an old note, but it's which was weird to be writing an old note. So it must be an old piece of paper that he wrote on to make the note. Like he found this faded out, like somebody hung up a blank Piece of paper somewhere. It could be saliva. It could be a sweat. Oh, there's a thumbtack. It, it's been thumbtacked to a bulletin board, and there's no thumbtacks okay. on the third floor because this is the high security wing. It's like the slippers. Well, what's aggravating you. is that sometimes the details on the handouts like really matter, and sometimes it's just like right. <laughs> I think the boys at Arc Dream are like, "Let's make it a post-it with a thumbtack." Exactly. Well, An old crusty post-it. I don't think yeah. it's a post-it. When I was a kid, we had this box that had paper just like that by the telephone where you wrote notes, but there was no sticky. And the reason I don't think it's a post-it is because of that thumbtack hole. I think it's just a piece of paper. I think it's that sort of. Um, you had to have not quite. You had to have cork boards because sticky notes yeah. weren't invented yet. It's like thin construction paper. It's got that sort of rough consistency. It's kind of crappy paper. When it gets wet, the the the, the dye uh, bleeds. I know this stuff, man. Which one is it? Like where my folders are in? I want to see it. Oh, I don't know. It's I copied it into my uh, ah, into okay. my Google Notes. I can send Very you. Enough. I can share the link of you the thing with you. It's all good. Uh, so, Sean, is it, is it is it fair to say we've seen enough of the facility and the rooms? So feel confident that at on. at at. As you, before you get to the woman's w wing, oh, okay. there is a, a, the security room and the server room that is on the third floor that is, would be like. Oh, in the middle. In the middle that joins the. Uh, the middle wing. The yep, two, the, the two yep. wings. Yep. So it's, it's ah. the center wing of the third floor is connected. There's a, a clean server room and a two seat security station um, with 16 screens. A computer oh. console and controls for facility uh, fire suppression systems, locks, and cameras. And the nurse is like, you know, they do a lot of security in there. There's a lot of security equipment and, you know, ties into the fire system and, and things of that nature. And there's cameras and the, some of the video footage that comes from those feeds um, end up here. Um, and, the, oh, and I should say, as kind of a standard 
procedure. Uh, as far as I'm aware, they're stored for four weeks um, before before we delete those. Um, I don't think that's changed. I think that's still pretty standard. And I feel like we have not looked at the footage, but they, uh, the doctor confirmed that there's nothing interesting on the footage in terms yes. of the escape. Uh, of the escape? Right. What about before me? anyone reading a book? Correct. We need a, we you need you want to watch four weeks of video footage to see if anyone reads a book in the hallway somewhere? It's the reason why there's a 10x button. No, I mean, there's, they're not in the rooms, the cameras. We already confirmed that. They're in the halls. Yeah, but if, the, if we see... Maya, help me out on this one. We'd probably see somebody carrying it, maybe. It's a long shot, Jerry, we but it might, it, looks it, like. might, it might be worth it. We don't know if it's a it. book. If it's a book, we have no idea. So, um, wow. I'm sorry, what's the, what's the nurse's name? Guys? What else are we going to do Gina. while we stay here? All night? Gina. We can watch them all while we stay here. So We can project on, them hang, on the wall. Hang on, Jerry. Sorry. Nurse Samagina. One, one thing that we're looking for is a book, and we don't know what it looks like. We don't know what it's titled, hmm. but we, we've been told there's some kind of potential connection between, guys, I hope there's no harm in telling her this, some potential connection between the, each of the patients. So that's why we're asking about a library, about personal possessions, and now that's why Jerry's thinking maybe we check the tapes. So if you or the other staff members, have you seen probably you know the same book? I'll say that. Hmm. But not like maybe if I don't know if it's hardcover or soft cover or what I don't know. Oh dear. Um, um, I, um, I, I, um, so no, you're not sure what it looks like. You're not sure if there's a title and you don't know who might have possessed it. Um, well, there's people who are missing, so all of them would have had the same book. Big. Oh, interesting. Um, I don't. I didn't notice anything. Um, I don't. Okay. I mean, I, I'm so she's like, I wonder somebody brought in the same book. Like, I don't know. Sometimes you get, or was, or was loaning it, right? Christian groups that might come in and bring Bibles. We don't, we don't see that. And we don't usually allow those to, to come into the facility and unrequested or unsolicited. Um, would it be something like that? Could be po sure. Poss possible. Okay. Uh, I don't, I don't recall. Um, but if the patient has a certain, um, in really around, uh, religious, um, uh, the religion practice and things of that nature. So if they wanted a Bible or Quran and, you know, we would want to be able to provide that to them if, if, if at all possible, as long as it doesn't pose a danger, which sometimes books aren't, but you'd be surprised. No, I understand. The so guys out of character think back for a minute. One of us check patient files in Dallin's office at one point. Remember that? Uh, are we, are we going we were to talking about grabbing them? Okay. He he so, did not. He was not willing to let us yeah, take the, the files. Over. Right. We were going to try to extricate them on our way out. That's another yeah, place. We, I, could, we, we could potentially find some reference to the book. Right, it was in the interviews with him. Yeah, we sleep over. Why do, you to, why do you have to place? put it that way? If we sleep over, <laughs> sneaking around. All right. So I, I think security footage is a good idea if we have time. Let's keep let's keep going for now. Yeah, and Semajina, as she like goes by the security room, there is an orderly in the room, and she's like, "If you need any information, Michael probably knows more, a little bit more about the process and procedure." And I, uh, he was on duty um, the evening that they had disappeared. And she's like, she kind of like Michael, she says. Oh, Michael. Yes, I'm sorry. Did I? Yes, Michael. Did I stutter? <laughs> did I? <laughs> I thought it was like Mike O, last initial. No, no, okay, Michael. It's, you know, Michael, Mike. Mike. Mike oh, um, yep. We, we call oh, him. La, la, la. Yes. I got it. Yes. And we she, she looks at Mike Agent does. Maya like, <laughs> see, is he always like this? He needs fresh air. Maya's just like, oh, yeah. Oh, okay. Okay. And then she smiles at him. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the Maya's weird, that's, the right, that's the right way to handle it. Yes. Weird, awkward, <laughs> uncomfortable smile. So, yeah. and as she walks by, she, she must be really good at that. She waves at Michael. You would think. Professional training. Mantillo, what do you think? I think we should talk to Michael. I agree. Yes. 
go into that security room. You so want to go into the pass, security room? We have yeah. to pass through it anyway, don't we? But we want to talk to Michael. Kind of go. I think it's more like there's probably a walk hallway and there's like a room yeah. in the security piece place, right? Okay. So Mike goes there and you uh, see him. Hey. Look at that. Mike D. Oops. Yeah. Like a younger version of a guy on my BI team. <laughs> Michael Devon. Let's see. Uh, here we go. That's not working the way I want it to. Okay, well. Um, weird. Okay. Uh, so yes, he's in there and he's sitting at a chair and he looks up and Semajina introduces you and says, uh, uh, Michael, this is, uh, agent, um, Maya, um, and agent Mantillo and uh, Mr. Gladstone. Um, they, they are looking into, um, the disappearances of the, the six patients from the other uh, evening. And he was like, oh, I see. She's like, uh, yeah, the, they're from the FBI. He's like, uh, hello. Hey, Michael. I imagine that you, uh, you probably, you're probably interested in some of the surveillance footage, I'm guessing. Maybe. You were on duty that night? I was. Um, yeah. Strange. I assume, you've, I assume you've gone back over all the footage, right? I have. I've gone through it. We've got it archived. Um, more than happy to to have you review that. It's you're you're gonna probably be pretty disappointed. I wasn't able to find anything. There was no um, footage of anybody that had left the facility, and uh, there was no you know going down the hallways of each patient. There was no sign of them at any given time. Can you see the door? Prior, open? None of them left their room. They had never left their room. No. And, and the, you have all this this room. You have uh, all the little lights. I assume there's a row of lights or whatever that show which doors are unlocked or open or something like that. Like they can, in terms of monitoring the, the bedrooms, there must be some, like I think you said there was a room, a door monitoring thing system. So I'm I'm sort of picturing like some like uh, yeah, I'm picturing like rows of like lights with a room number and a little green light, a little red light. I don't know. This and is like a school is. turned into a thing. They may not have that. There's a lot of tech here. We're not present. Yeah. Right. <clears throat> um, so. Can you tell us anything you, about. Go ahead, Mantio. Yeah. You, uh, you watch the, what do you, what do you normally watch? Like during the day when you're just working. Well, typically it's the it's the flipping through the video screens to to see. I mean, if you've d if you've done any work within uh, even loss prevention in, in grocery stores, you know, picking up an individual on, down a particular aisle, watching them go through, go onto the different screen, and go onto the next camera, just tracking their their activity to make sure there's no. Um, He's telling us how to use a closed circuit camera system, pretty, guys. Pretty much. Mm -hmm. So you, uh, so you've got cameras in the halls, That's nothing right. in the bedrooms, nothing in the bathrooms. You have cameras in the bathrooms, the bathrooms. No. So Mike, so there's people that wander around the halls and then they patients and then they go into the bathroom and they're off camera. Um, the, the patient being unescorted is usually a, a rarity, but it, it happens at the a rarity it, like every day, like this Ed guy who's around the halls all the time without an escort. Yeah, Ed's been with us with the, for a little while, and he's he's gotten that uh, privilege. As far as I know, that's something that is usually. So, so, what do you mean by a rarity? I'm just trying to get some idea of numbers here. Like a rarity, like once a month, like every two hours, like. Well, it depends on the patient. Um, no, no, I'm talking about the hallway. Like, how often do you see somebody walking down the hallway unescorted? Oh, that's on the third floor. Yeah, unless they have privilege. Like, if it's Ed, it's pretty easy to track. Okay, so the other, the six in question mm -hmm. did not have privilege, is what you're telling us. No, no. They were confined to their rooms. 
or they were escorted where they needed to go. Do you, okay. do you know what each of these individuals look like? Yes, of course. Do you, do you remember ever seeing them together? Um, I Probably during the cafeteria hours, maybe, but I don't remember anything that stood out. I mean, they were escorted, been escorted to footage. cafeteria. Hmm? I'm sorry? He looks at all three of you like, who so are They would have been escorted to the cafeteria. Oh, that, of course, that. yes. Mm-hmm. We could, Everybody's got to eat. We could watch some uh, cafeteria. The cafeteria is on camera. The cafeteria, yeah, Mike, of course, yes. Is there uh, common rooms where they sit around and talk to each other? A group, group therapy six rooms? Would not. Third floor, not as much. Second floor is a little bit more. Uh, I'm not saying loose. as yeah. much. Does it happen? Um, yes or no? He I'm looks at the nurse. He's like, on occasion? Like okay, so there's a chance that there's some footage of these people sitting in a room talking to each other. I would imagine as long as they've been here, there's probably one or two minutes somewhere of them being together at some point, but I don't know what that looks like. Okay. You're welcome to pour through. Yeah, I'm afraid we're going to have to. Some of the... All right. Yeah, we're you trying to find you story to ask time. For? Wherever they would have story time, and they all read a book together. I mean, four. Right, he's what? like doing. He's looking up at the ceiling. He's like, let's see, four weeks. Four. Let's see. Yeah, I can do the math. Twenty-four. I can do the days. math. You don't need to do it for me. I I, I understand. It's a what lot we're of time. For. This is our this is our job. It's a lot of time, Agent. Yes, what, I understand what was Michael that. Doing? You have not helped make it less, but thank you. What was Michael doing when we came in? Did he look busy? Was he like on his phone? No, he, he, looked, he looked like he's looking at monitors. He wasn't like. Okay. He's doing his job, but. Yeah. He wasn't sleeping so, or doing so a crossword then, puzzle. Maya won't mind giving him some work. And she's going to, she's going to say, we need you to pull the tapes and the footage for like the last few times these people were seen. So in the hours up to their disappearance, I want to see what their demeanor was like. I want to see where they were going, what they were doing and show us the last like three meals that they would have partaken in to see if they were sitting together. We need you to do that, okay, Michael? Sure. Yeah, sure. Um Okay. Let me able to get write this write this down. What do you what do you let me make sure I got this accurate. It's I don't want to go through four weeks of videos. So and I and, didn't say four weeks. Yeah, no, no, I that's said, what Maya, I was, Maya, was, do you want to borrow one of my cards to write it down hmm. for him? No, I've got so a, I, I've I, got a piece of paper right here. My Maya will do that. She's going to actually just jot down yeah. quickly, like everything that I just described. I just want to make basically. sure I get the right information for you, Agent. That's understood. Yeah. I understood. Yeah, yeah. I get it. The nurse and is like, last... they're a little high strong, man. We're going to loosen up. Maya's like leaning Where are you past looking him, for six people that disappeared. Writing on his <laughs> desk. Your watch. Yes. I, was, I wasn't going to say it, but she said it. <laughs> While she's writing on the desk, she says, Oh, um, you know what? And she gestures back to who has the bag, Gary? Yeah. Right here. Right here. She's like, uh, well, mommy, recognize, that, recognize that bag? Is it, have you seen people carrying it around here on your, you know, as you're watching everybody? And she finishes jotting down her notes. And she's, he says, I think that's, is that Richards? <laughs> ding, 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 ding. You're correct. Yeah. She's, <laughs> and do you say ding, ding, Jerry? Yes, I did. Yeah, uh, Maya goes, she finishes her last bullet point, like, it hits the paper with the pencil, like, thud. She's like, yeah, ding. I want to see the footage from just like an hour ago of the basement where the lockers are. Okay. Pull that up right now. So she's, what she's aiming at, Sean, is yeah. when Richard went and got the bag. Yeah. And where. Because he mentioned getting it, I think, in the basement in the locker. It's where he got his gym stuff. So the problem is they're not going to have cameras in the locker room. Exactly. Uh, I don't know if it's a locker, lo- locker room, locker room, or is it more like a, a bus depot set of lockers? I don't know. You know what I mean? Right. Yes. Yeah. Is it lockers where you keep stuff or is it locker? Is it a changing room? It may not be a changing room. Yeah. Sure. Um, so I, I could roll luck. He, I mean, so he's got all this, he's got like, okay, I got it. You know, and he writes that down. But, yep. Yeah. So <laughs> I guess I got some work to do. Yeah, we appreciate it. Rolls his eyes. We appreciate it. Okay. You can have them email it to your phone, the clips. Yeah, just text us. She writes her number down too. Sure. He's like, yeah, I'll, I'll, you know, I'll probably get 
to most of this tomorrow. Um, you know. What what about that stuff from an hour ago? Right we can just watch that right now. Right now. That's right. Oh, you want that right now? <laughs> Do you speak English? <laughs> Look, you guys gave me a lot of information here. I, you know, and then I you'd like we need all this, and I, I appreciate that, and want to be able to cooperate. But you know, he's like looking at the nurse, and she's like, you know, I don't. Yeah. Just cooperate yeah. then. It's not that hard. Oh, my ass moves right, a bit. Then. She, she, she's like the, the other stuff can wait. You know, to till till tomorrow. But let's have a look at that locker area right now, if we can. Sure, absolutely. So he like. Flips open, or he hits a couple buttons. There's a control panel, so he starts like futzing with them, and he's got Brings one main DOS. one main monitor, and it's like you know going backwards, and he's scrubbing through it, puts in a timestamp, and it picks it up. All right, at least they're still not on VHS. <laughs> I was wondering about that. If it's video or digital, <laughs> it's got like a joystick. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the tape broke. Dang. Yeah, that's right. Pretty, pretty much. Uh, there, so he, there's a spot during the time that he thinks like Richard comes on duty there. He's walks into the facility. He's got a duffel bag. He goes to the locker room. Empty duffel bag when he walks in. He's, car- like a full he's duffel bag. carrying a duffel bag. I mean, you could tell if it's empty or not. So I already said there's stuff. Is it floppy bag. and like, it's probably floppy, I guess. Like Less it's full than it it's is. It's hard now. to say. It is a black round duffel bag he, that he's carrying, and it looks like okay. he, there's a little maybe strain to him. It's not. I don't know how it. heavy a mummified child weighs. How much is his muscle flex? Yeah, he's We're like figure out the weight. He's ratio. like somebody's carrying like two hundred pounds in one arm. He's all cockeyed <laughs> like this and. It was only 30 pounds. So close. Yeah, it's not very heavy. As, For me, I'd be like leaning to one side. But yeah. right, he yeah, seemed yeah. like he was fit. Yeah. So, And he goes in through like you could he, – he is like hitting a couple buttons and you can see a transfer from one camera angle to the next. And he comes through in admissions and goes into – Do they look at his bag when he comes in? Uh, no, they don't look at it. Okay. Somebody's in trouble. Write that. Write that guy up. Yeah, and the nurse is like, "Oh, he should have. We should have yeah. checked that." And yeah. so then it's brought in. He goes down a hallway. Blah blah blah. It goes this way, that way. Then there's like personnel staff only. Swipes in. Door opens. There's, you know, um, it, uh, hmm, will it be a camera in there? I don't know. Sure, why not? There's a camera in there. It's lockers where people put their coats and jackets when they come into work. It's not like not a changing room. shower changing room. No. Yeah. Um, and he's got the bag. He puts it on a bench and he opens up a locker and he takes off his coat and hangs up his coat in the locker and then um, gets his badge on, probably uh, puts a couple of items in the locker, closes it shut, takes the bag and he walks out. Da, 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 da. Right. And then it goes through. See two, three agents come in the front entrance, <laughs> and it zips through that. And then he goes up to the second floor, and then the third floor. So that's weird too, right? Somebody carrying their duffel bag around while they're on duty. What's that? I say to Michael, that's weird too, right? Somebody carrying around the duffel bag while they're on duty. Into a secure side. Yeah, yeah it's a little unusual. I'm not sure why he took it up. Like, Isn't I don't it know completely why it against policy up on the third floor? Well, Michael's an orderly and staff. I understand. We don't question each other every day on, on things. I'm but carrying duffel bags huh. up to the restricted floor. Contraband. And uh, he looks at the nurse and he's like... Is that, has that ever happened before? Well, he's brought in his duffel bag before. He's he's kind of a fitness guy. Have you ever carried it onto duty before? Obviously, he brings it in. That seems normal. He's Does he ever carry it on the yeah. floor with him? We okay. Yeah, and we've searched like we've done diligent searches. This maybe sure. we didn't do one today. And he's like, obviously, sure. we didn't do one today. He totally looks at the monitor. That, that happens. Yeah. All right. So my my leans over and adds a bullet to her list, and she's like, search for Richard carrying that bag anywhere. <sighs> 
in the same footage frame, et cetera, yep. as the other six people. Now I'm going to be able to talk it back to you in a week. Nice. That's perfect. I'm Love busy. <laughs> he's, he's like, okay, he adds it to the list. And so, Sean, I don't know if I caught it. So you're saying the bag this whole time looks kind of empty? Oh, it's, it just hard it's, it's hard to say no, it if it's, it's not. It looks the same. No, it looks the same. Right? But yeah. I think what we gleaned from when he brought Paired, it in. Paired it inside. Yes. Okay. Never yes. like took anything in or out. Correct. So right. it came, came in with outside. the money. It's with him. Came in with the bag. Right. Never opened it yeah. till you guys He carries a mummy in a bag around. That's right. Like I do now. Right. We yeah, actually just like you. This dude's residence, guys. You do notice. I, I will say this. D- at some point in the frame, you're like, well, what? hold on a second. Michael Reeve, like, he reverses it. And you see Michael talking, like, in the locker room. In the locker room. He's, like, talking. Yep. Like, so, he has mouth moving. Like nobody's around, and he's just Richard yeah. talking. I'm sorry, Richard. Richard. Yeah. Yes. Richard. Okay, I got. To, I was like, did, did I say you, Michael? You were in the locker room, oh, and you no. didn't tell us. Richard, <laughs> Richard, <laughs> Rich. Yeah, I got it. One slip up in Delta Green, and you're having to recreate the wheel for the next five <laughs> it's, sessions. It's another hour on a red herring that never even totally, happened. Totally. Why are these guys going this way? You That's said. Awesome. I, that's why we wrote five every hours name ago. So yeah. All right. So this guy came in with the mummy and then walked around with the mummy, and then we have the mummy and, and we're walking we around with it now. Yeah. That's great. Now, now you're walking, and then it's like, <laughs> and you took in. his bag, and Stand then you go in the conference in. room, yeah. and then yeah, he's like, she, now she, you've she, got the bag. Like, and it's like, you can they look stop at it, it's like, now. stop it. Stop, Michael. Stop. Quietly, just to her compatriots, she says, we need to check his house. Sure. Put it on the list. It is. <laughs> like Michael's got a list <laughs> and we got a list. Right. Yeah. All right. Michael's gonna help us out, guys. Is there anything else we need from him? I don't think so. We, think, we appreciate I think, it. I think we're good for now. He's like, sure, anytime he's somewhere. like, if you guys wanna like you ha-, he's like, I have no problem if you want to come in here and go through the, the videos yourself. Understand. Thank you. We may do that when we finish the rest of our investigation. We would like you to attempt to do your job a little bit. So I, I said it for Mantio. <laughs> oh, he was totally looks thinking at it. the nurse and the nurse is like, just kind of goes like this. All right. Well, if I can be of any help, uh, by all means, don't you will. Uh, hesitate you got, you got work ask. there. You'll be helped. That's great. Go then you probably go out and then if you go around to the woman's um yep. Yep. wing and then yep. the room is the same, it's very mundane. You cool. Know, yeah. No books found. There's slippers. Right, we check are something off our list. Different locations. <laughs> yeah. My thing is done. Clothes it's your guys turn now. <laughs> clothes ironically are different sizes. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Well, at least we it's it's off the table. We're like, all right, yeah. we did that. We so what time of day him. do we think it is by now? Well, so oh my God. Damn, that's I don't a good even know. Question. So depending on um I feel oh. like the question is whether we just are about to spend the night or whether we're about to go run a bunch of errands and then come back and spend the night. Yeah. The thing I was told two weeks ago is a horrible idea. It is a horrible no, idea. You- <laughs> it's a terrible idea. If you guys decide to do a top to bottom search of the facility, it's going to take you at least or around three hours. I don't see any reason There's to do a top to bottom search here, of the facility. Unless, do you? unless the the only thing that I'm interested book. in, I think like my well, yeah, the something we, we don't even but, know they saw the book here. They could have seen don't. the book out on wherever. Any like it's true, but the thing been that here we know years. exists is the files for the patients in. Dallas room. That's the only and, and, Ed's, and Ed's journal. Right. I yeah, I guess, but I, I think that's just ramblings of a you guys all stay in this right like in this computer room or on the no, I don't we even know where you are. We told point. you we stepped out. We stepped out of the computer. We already room. went to the women's room. Remember we went to the women's yeah, room? Yes, the women's yeah, rooms yeah, were yeah, all yeah. empty. We already but did it's all that. is still with you, right? She's probably still with us, yeah. Okay. We need like hand signals for like when we're talking to each other. Well, if you're we'll talking to each other and the nurse out. is there, that you guys are gonna like, you guys gotta be like, Some hey, jam. we're gonna go in another room. We take leave. a walk. Right. That's why people leave <laughs> facilities to talk amongst themselves. Otherwise, right. the nurse is standing there. That's I've got us a meeting room. We have a meeting room. Yeah. That is we're true. If you go to the meeting room, yeah. that's that's cool. 
I want to. Yeah, we should go back to the meeting room. Okay. My calves are okay. killing me. Because if you're in man. the meeting room, then what I have going on in the third floor is there I'll without you guys floor. there. Right. Exactly. Right. Okay. <laughs> Which is good because that way we don't go insane. <laughs> I gotta say, so basically we're like, there's nothing going on here. Let's leave. <laughs> right. <laughs> this is boring. Oh dear. Um, yeah. Right. So we're back in the meeting room. I bet by now, I bet we're tired. Sure. <laughs> I am very tired. tired. Uh, and Semajina is going to get you, like, she'll do copies of stuff, and she's like, here's a map of the facility, and, and she, you know, the things that are on the wall, like, you are here. She gets you copies of that, gives you that, gives them a wel- gives you a welcome packet that she provides, you know, de- dependents and things of that nature, da-da-da. It's got the history of the Dorchester, like, as I much think, as she can. I think um, Bryce went off with Dr. Dallin, right? He did, yes. yeah. So should we ask Samajina, if we're in the room here alone, should we ask Samajina to bring Dr. Dallin back and run some of our theories or even how we're trying to connect the dots past him yet? Should we yeah, have not a bad idea. Out of this yet? One of my... Yeah, yeah. Cons- oh, go ahead. So is he a good guy? We don't know yet. We don't know. No. We don't know yet. How did you guys get here? Like 10? One of my... 11? Uh, more, mid-morning, more early morning. I think actually. it was 11, right? It was after it 10. It might have been 11. You're right. Lunch, you're right. You're right. Pizza, blah, blah, blah. What one of my concerns about about stealing the files is that we are the only people here that will that could do it. You know, it's it's us. Like there's nobody else that it was. If those files go missing, six people disappeared. It could have been the <laughs> boogeyman, just like that. I don't buy we could, it. We we could get pictures of them. Get in there, yeah. and get pictures. That that seems like a little a little better of a yeah. Rather than yeah, we that. have technology now. We also we also got to figure out if he's going to let us stay overnight and where we're going to stay, right? And if we can get some gear in here, if you know what I mean. I do know what you mean. I mean, so that the gear is here, and there may be. I mean, your gear is down at the security place. Oh, he, he locked it in a thing, right? He did. It it has to be late as hell right now because. We got to the Dorchester house at eleven fifteen a.m. I probably didn't like have us. Time. Yeah. yeah, that's what I was thinking. That it's sort of around dinner time. Yeah, this must be four or five hours later. I would think. Yeah, John, you you concur? Yeah, um, yeah. I guess yeah. If you guys like, uh, we do top to bottom now. Then I would just fast forward at three hours, which would probably put you at around four in the afternoon. Three. In I the, think we're tired. Three in the afternoon. I think that would be. We're just going to be looking for things. Oh, wait, that's what we're supposed to do. Yeah, I mean, we could go out for dinner. We could. I don't know what we're going to do for food. Uh, we need to talk to Dallin at some point. So we agree that we're not staying here for the night because that's probably a horrible idea. Wait, what? Are we? We are. We are, we are. In fact, what we need to do next, Maya snaps her fingers. She's like, we need to find out if Ed got your note. Gary. Yeah. My note. I'm going to put your guys' names on it. What? Did, so, now we're alone. And we, don't, we don't have to play the list all, all out, Lou, but Maya will ask what was on the note. Gary can describe it so we all know mm-hmm. what we've asked him. So maybe we need to find him at supper time when they come down for dinner. Might be a good time for us to see Ed. Sure. Yeah, maybe we could field. arrange to eat with the third floor crew. Not a bad idea. See how they interact. See how they're brought in, brought out. Since the place seems so strangely insecure sometimes. Yeah. And then maybe I can go to the bathroom. I I know what else. Wink at Ed. You should do that, but be careful. <laughs> you know. Yeah, of course. Because yeah. you never know. His privileges might. You know, maybe he's allowed to carry a shotgun around. Oh, who knows? So how about this? How about we get some of we should get Samajina to order us a pizza. So I, I don't know if I want to eat the food here okay. for a whole variety of reasons. Sure. All right. So we'll get some food and then we'll partake in the dinner for the and observe it maybe first, second, third floor. We could also observe from the security room. Yeah, but that won't get him talking to uh, Ed. Um, did, did we ever ask if 
there has been any previous disappearances for any reason over the last 20 years. I don't think we did. You did ask Dallin about that. That seems kind of pertinent. Maybe, Maybe we should talk to Dallin soon and and arrange, you know, staying over overnight. Yeah, you know what? We should anyway. Like, like, hey, look, we thank you. We were at your facility. Thanks for all your cooperation. What other concerns do you have? You know, play it like we're buddy buddy with him. Yeah, yeah. And then maybe just ask him a couple wrap up questions and and maybe gauge like let's kind of like hint at staying and see his reaction because he doesn't know. You know. Maybe if he's all like, well, you don't have to like just come back tomorrow, then something's funny. Well, there You're is cold funny. feet. No. <laughs> I just, hmm. I want to know what we're dealing with here. That's the only thing. <laughs> Good luck. Oh, you mean with I, Dr. I trust, I trust this bag more than I do the doctor. Uh, you're crazy, if that's true. Yeah. Sean, when we came in, remind me, was there a metal detector or a pat-down or a wand? Yes. Metal detector. Okay. Yeah, I've been thinking about plastic knives. They make those, right? Plastic K-bars? Yeah, definitely. <laughs> That's right. All right, we I guess just... we need we need Dallin, right? Yeah. Why don't we take a break? And we'll come back and we'll have Dallin. Dallin it up. up and Tia's going to and... call in a favor to get a 3D printed knife. Exactly. <laughs> so if I'm going to get 3D printed, I'm going we, for a gun. We, we should just ask them on the inside, like, where do you guys keep the guns? They're going to be like, oh, they're right here. Exactly. We'll just take whatever ones you want. 20, 2016, you know, it might take a little bit long to get that 3D printed. Oh my God. House. Who knows what is there? He brought this thing in. And he was not, he is not in his right mind. We don't even know if Dallin let him go or not. This whole time I've been trying to think, and this is Jerry talking, I've been trying to think about what to do with this bag. I have no idea. I have, no they have an incinerator. We can't do that. We don't know how it fits into this whole thing. If nothing else, I'll try to contact um, the program tonight, my handler, mm. and get like a lo green, green box location. We can just dump it somewhere and they'll take care of it. They'll secure it. Get it out of our, off our hands. I don't love that idea because we still don't know how this is all fitting together. Like who even arranged this? Right? Yeah. But it's better than carrying it everywhere. Although your idea, Mentio, about Richard, the thing has been quiet, right? Yeah. I yeah. heard a peep. Mm -hmm. I don't know. All right. So out of character, anything you guys want to add to that list of like get shit done tonight? No. All right. So it sounds like we're Sean, we're gonna get Sam and Gina to come in. We we're all see sleeping in the same room tonight, right? We'll, we'll see what they have for a place where we can stay. <laughs> That's all I'm concerned about. Don't leave me in the room with this bag with this mummy by myself. <laughs> That's a horrible plan. <laughs> um, just to cover this quickly, Sean, uh, I think Maya is going to get Semajina to order some food. You know, whatever, you know, what, what local is good type of thing, right? Get takeout for us, please. She'll, you know, she'll pay her some bucks. When you need to see Dr. Dallin, and the last thing she'll do She's going to go check her gun out and leave the building and she's going to put her gun in the car so that she has easier access to it in case of emergency because it's, it's locked up right now. Right. Right. Yeah. So she doesn't want to have it locked up. She's going to secure it in the vehicle somewhere like, you know, Velcro under the seat type of thing. Something like that. All right. Do, do I get a gun, Maya? You owe me a gun. Sean, does that all, all that take place? It all takes place. <laughs> Yes. My only weird conundrum is you take the gun out of the facility and then you come back into the facility without it. Right. Yeah, he's not coming back with it. It just wants it in the car. I she says, I, she's, she's like, she's like FBI. I secured it. Got it. No, I, yeah. So they may no, look at you. Like, yeah. They may look yeah, at the outside, right? Yeah. In fact, I, what I'm going to say, actually, Sean, she probably would say, I need to collect my gun because I'm going to secure it outside. Okay. Instead of, instead of leaving it here, I'll be right back. I got that it. kind of thing, sure. right? Yeah. 
they, I mean, they wonder why you wouldn't be able to secure it here, but okay, whatever you say, agent. Well, the agent, well, the taking it away is going to be normal because she's not going to leave it there when she leaves. That's a normal act. It's the act of not coming back with it. Right. She'll quote, quote some some made up chapter and verse. FBI agents aren't supposed to surrender their weapons in facilities like this. Well, it can, it can even make sense. Hey, I times. know the rules now. Why would yeah. I go through all the hassle when I can right. just keep it locked up somewhere? Yep. Else? Now I know not. Now I know not to bring my firearm here. Yeah. Got it. Got it. Got it. Got it. Got it. Okay. All right. You didn't answer my question. Why do I get a gun? Yeah, I wanted to know if I was back inside, and she was just like, "Fuck no!" As she <laughs> cruises past you. <laughs> Wow. Ponytail swinging, like, like <laughs> hell no. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, you know what? Did she we... sits down. She sits, sits down in the room, Jerry Mentio, and she's like, "It's not as bad as that last time, right? Not that bad." Referring to New York. Yeah, yeah, yeah. not yet. Not that bad. Not yet. I don't even remember that. <laughs> a row of books on the shelf. So food is ordered. Okay. Brought into now, the conference room. Here you go. Jimmy John subs. This this is not sponsored by Jimmy John's or endorsed by Jimmy John's. <laughs> <laughs> I hate when you ask a local for the good stuff and they get you a chain food chain food. <laughs> I hate that. <laughs> Maya hates it too. She's unhappy eating your sandwich. Like and to be clear, it doesn't mean that that food is bad. It just means that that is that's <laughs> that's right. not what she asked for. Cut all that out, Sean. Yeah. <laughs> Star <Start> over. <laughs> okay, so gun out, gun, uh, gun out, gun secured, back in the place. Lunch, uh, food ordered. What else was there that you were Dallin? You wanted to talk to Dr. Let, Dallin. Let Dallin know we want to see. Uh, Maya brought a second gun for Mignon and she keeps it in her car. Oh. So Dr. <laughs> Dallin comes down. Taser. Do I get a taser? Looks like he's he looks like he's he's got a coat on and uh a very light coat. Um but nonetheless he's got his briefcase with him. Like ready to go home, right? Looks like he's about to go home. He's got keys in his hand. But he, he stops by the conference room nonetheless and checks in on, on how progress is being made. And and obviously doesn't want to go uh, without acknowledging you guys or finding out what's going on, what you're attempting to do, if he can be of any help. And he'll tell you like he's going to come back in the morning. So, <clears throat> so he says, so are you... Are you almost wrapped up for the day, or? <clears throat> you guys want Maya to take the lead here? When are you going to do it? I take the lead, but you like, be like, we don't have a hotel room, and it just makes sense. We still have stuff Hang to on. do. It's Jerry. <laughs> 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 Doctor. <laughs> uh, she's basically going to say, uh, we're, we're just really getting started. There's a, you know, you know, there's. Those are not easy to piece together, right? Of course. Some strange things that have happened. What happened to um man with the duffel bag? What was his name? Bryce? Richard. Richard Bryce. Richard Bryce. Bryce. Yes. What happened to him? He we well we we brought him into a room. I questioned him and got some details about the nature of the, the peculiar uh bag. And so uh we have given him some some time off. Uh, and we'll be investigating it internally to determine what, what really is at the nature of this. But I, 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 I fear Richard might have some, some ailments we, we weren't fully aware of. So you, for now, he's free to go and you already turned him loose. We did. We didn't feel that it, it warranted any, um, we know where his location is, AJ, we can certainly provide that to you if you want to. Um, pursue him, but we figured until we had some more details, we didn't feel it right to have him be on duty uh, until we got to the bottom of it. Maya slides her notebook over to him and says, "Just as the dress would be great, we may drop. We may just drop in to see him tonight to ask him some more questions." Yes, of course. And then he grabs it and he like writes down his address and he's like, "Here you go." 
Thank you. Mm-hmm. Um, now, as far as as far as what we're planning on doing, no, we're gonna we're probably pulling all nighter here tonight. We have a lot of security tape footage to review. Yes, we have a lot of we have a lot of uh, leads to follow and corroborate and start to pull together. Um, so, in fact, um, what I was going to do is ask your nurse for a few cots, set them up in here. A couple of us may get some shut eye while others are are working, but if it's okay with you, we're going to spend the night in here. Sure, no, that's fine. Um, okay. Yep. The badges, I think the nurse might've mentioned should get you to the common areas throughout the, throughout the building. Um, restricted areas, you might have some, like you're not going to be able to enter the the nurses stations or, um, the security, um, footage without probably personnel just because the badges that you have are pretty, pretty generalized for, for common areas and, you know, things of that nature. Just so you know, um, you may need to ask the on-duty nurse um, to, to be able to help you with that. Okay. I got uh, two other questions then. Montillo, Jerry, if you have others, let's – I don't want to keep Dr. Dallin all night from his family or from going home. Appreciate that. Um, but um, you can appreciate something strange is going on here, and the fact that the three of us are here really puts a fine point on that, right? Right. Of course. I really need to have my firearm in here tonight. Um, with what's happened with the bag and the security concern, I know you're the administrator. I know you own the, the organization that funds this facility. I know you have the authority to make this call. I mean, I can make some, some calls to FBI headquarters if I need to, but we don't, we do not feel safe staying here with the way this man carried this bag in and the security footage, he walked right past security. So we don't know what is in this building and we need to be able to defend ourselves. Give me a roll. Okay. And I'm going to guess Persuad. Persuade would do the, 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 the trick to see. If I see know. a 51. A 51 means she's failed at some point. I will, I will give you a plus 10 on that. That's Ooh. nice because I got a 97. You are <laughs> being a little too, like he says, uh, Agent Maya, I, res- I, I respect I mean, many of our patients have come from military duty, law enforcement, suffer from PTSD. So I have the utmost respect for the law and protection and all that. I, I sincerely understand where you're coming from. Unfortunately, it's just we we really can't have that occur. Just we have had we haven't had an act of violence in the in within the facility without uh, control and without firearms and and we haven't lost the life here in its entire history. And by inducing a, a weapon uh, as, as much as a firearm would just put that in jeopardy. I, I hope you understand. It's – if you feel as though you have to go through some legal um, – that, then I will abide by the law, but unfortunately, that doesn't take that. That does not apply in this instance. Her jaw just tightens. She's just like, "All right, <laughs> your ninety-seven jaw." Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. She, he can tell that she's pissed. Yeah, he she's for like, sure. He's like trying to calm me down and and you know, like totally get yeah. it. I, I apologize. I understand that she 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 can't help herself. She, she does a bit of a shrug. She's like, "All right, it's on you." Anything Does happens? he genuinely of course. seem concerned that these six people are gone and there's no clues? Is he genuinely concerned? Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. You want to give me a hint? You mint? Sure. You want to yeah, give me a sure. human? It's a rolling bonanza. That's right. Two rolling. <laughs> the, the, the dice are so cold I right now. I don't have know you if we guys go that. through a session yeah. and not roll some dice. We almost made it. What is this? A story game? What is this? <laughs> <laughs> I didn't sign up for no story games. <laughs> I don't even know where my thing is. Here we go. Like, uh, exactly. What do I, what do I, do I roll? I don't, I don't have any character dice. sheet. I wasn't prepared. <laughs> Can I be in Vert Foundry? What is going on here? But you still had one other question. Was that true? You said two things. Yeah, and this is one of yeah, them, right? So, okay. so while while um, Jerry's trying to read him, yeah, this may this may even help. This whole like, does he care? Right. He says. Um, one thing we picked up is that there may be a connection between these six people who are missing, and it may be that there's a book or some something they've read. They've all 
read or shared? <laughs> Do you remember anything from your sessions with them, seeing them, sh- you know, sh- was there a book club, anything like that? <laughs> nice roll, Jerry. Jerry, would you were? I can't, I can't even see it. My foundry's frozen. Ninety-six. Oh, it's a ninety-six. What? Seriously? Yeah. We went ninety-seven, ninety-six. Yes, Evans is going to be a ninety-five when he. I'm going to check heavy machinery soon, and I'm going to get a ninety-five. <laughs> <laughs> do they have a, a gen- room? Do they have a generator? Is that a bulldozer I see out in the parking lot? <laughs> <laughs> Can I take that for a spin? All right. So she's asking about the book. He, he says, "I'd have to go through my notes, but the, there there isn't anything that stands out to me where there there was." We, a book club's probably not a bad idea, but it's not something we have formally in place. We don't have a library. So unless, of course, there – do you know the title of the book? Wish we did. Do you know what it's about? Do you You're know, saying there's no books. None of that matters. I mean – Well, I mean, we could be on the lookout. Maybe somebody has it and we're not aware of it. Maybe they're hiding it. We don't know. We could certainly search people's quarters and see – you deem it necessary. You think a book is behind the disappearance of six people? Looks at y'all qu- like what we th- what we think. Well, the, you know how dangerous books can be, ideology and all sorts oh, of things. Of course, sure. I mean, some of our so, m- our biggest societies have been influenced by the written word. With your security system that you have in place here and your personnel, we are left without hardly any clues. Mm. So <laughs> this is one. We're going to try to get to the bottom of it. We don't know what she points to the bag. She says, we don't know what's going on with this yet. Yes. So, yes. You uh, have, mm, mm. Go, Jerry, you were, you were wondering, anyone else in the last 20 years disappeared or is it just these yes. six? Forgot about that question. No, yes. we, um, to say that our record is flawless would be an overstatement, but it's where it'd be, um, maybe some furlough had gone a little bit longer than anticipated things of that nature. But nothing but weird. No, no, nothing like that. Six people. This is well, or even quite one unusual. person weird. I mean, even, even one person, one person is like quite unusual. Be weird. Yes. And typically it's, it's, it's more of a, honestly, agent, it's more of a bureaucratic, um, flub up, if you will. So somebody sure. signing off on a release of a patient that, um, yeah, that's not disappearing. That's no, just, no, yeah, no, right. we have no, hey, yeah. no, this is quite unusual. And I know the work that you're involved in. Mm-hmm. So. And this is the only instance of any crossover with our work and your work that Anything you're aware on of. on this level, of course. Yeah, obviously this is. On this level. Okay. Well, what would you, I don't know how else to put it. It's six people that disappeared and I don't have any I just, records. I just, you don't seem overly concerned for six people just disappearing. No, no. You just seem way too calm. Well, I feel confident that you've been brought in and that you have the skills to be able to help. And so it, before this, I was a little more frantic, yeah. if you will. Yeah. All right. Maybe tomorrow you can go through all of your, like, case files for each of the patients and see if what there's reference to look for any connectivity not just the book okay. any connectivity them talking about each other talking about other people that they met dreams mm. anything like that. of course yes yes of abigail course. right abigail yeah. right yes yeah you know the name that was on the wall yes hopefully yeah yeah i'll still excuse me it's gone to see. all right we good guys for down. We're good. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, we can, we can go to dinner with the third floor crew. Um, yes, you can. I've arranged, um, special escorts for, for you to be, um, present. Um, excellent. Jerry's got a date. (laughs) Oh, and he looks at, you know, I don't say anything more. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) All right. Um, Five what time o'clock? are you back in the morning? Oh, I should be here at six, six, seven o'clock. At seven o'clock, usually I roll in. All right. And do we have his phone number, Sean? Like a personal? If not, Maya gets him to write it down. He says um, somebody at the front desk would have my emergency number if you need it. But here, I can give it to you if you'd like. Gives you his cell phone it's good. number. It's good that he did that because she was about to take a strip off him for not 
<laughs> she's like, thank you know, maybe when he's in the middle of saying that, she pushes the book a little further. Like, <laughs> like write it down. So you don't understand does. how emergencies work. <laughs> right. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Exactly. All right. Thank you. You've been helpful. And your, uh, thanks to your staff as well. There were some tense moments today, but um, we'll see what we can find. Look, I I look forward to you, to your findings, and and please let me know. I know my I know Samajina is more than happy to help out. If she'll be leaving in about fifteen minutes herself for the day, but there'll be somebody else here that can can help you out through the evening if you need anything. I'm sure. And that next shift knows about our presence, right? They, they won't do. Be I've informed by us. all the staff that that you are investigating the disappearance of the the six individuals, and they're all aware to be able to cooperate. And if there's any questions on on what they're able to provide you, um, they, they can certainly call me, and I will I will do what I need to. Please, I ask of you though. Some of these folks, great people, come in do their jobs eight to five, but you know, they aren't running the hospital. So just keep that in mind. If they have some reluctancy of, of divulging everything that they need to, we work in the health industry and sometimes some matters are sensitive and they're not aware of what can be divulged. Maya taps, taps his phone number in her book. She's like, that's why I've got this. We can call so you. And she, she also points at her ways. Or he mm -hmm. points at you. There you go. Okay. Again, Jerry. Jerry. I said Mantillo has ways too. She gets usually gets what she wants. <laughs> <laughs> we see him out before we say anything else. It'll like tip over the exactly app, yeah. apple cart. Right. Mm -hmm. He says, "Well, I'll see you out and uh, have a good evening." And then he walks out. You too. Okay. So we're basically sleeping in the conference room on the cots. Is that the, as far as is, that's where the cots are? The is there a better, that seems reasonable. Better idea. No, it's it great. Oh. I mean, we should put um, Thank Jerry you. in the hall just so that he can be on guard. But, you know. Yes. If any place has gonna, mobile He's going to sneak up on me while he's going to be like watching me while I'm sleeping and I'm going to open my eyes and he's going to be there. Maya says, should we, before this dinner starts, should we have someone in that security room? Just to more broadly observe what's going on here. No, Michael is on point, according to Mantillo. Do you trust Michael? I don't trust anybody, but Michael just seems like a it's his job. He just, it's probably going to be a different guy tonight. I'm sure, he's not probably, working all day. Yeah, he true. should be. Michael should be going off. Maya's like, uh, I'm, I'm going up. I want to. We see can always watch. The, like we that. can always watch the tape later. Yeah, no. You, you, I think I think that's good. You want to get the the sort of the full. The full view of the facility. I want to see what it looks like when they left them out of their rooms. I want to see like how they how they handle how the escort the, works exactly. How the patients yep. that are violent. I want to see all that. I just wanted yeah, more people near good. me to protect me. That's okay. all. Are you bringing your uh, your duffel to dinner there, Jerry? I mean, we're. Uh, I, I'm afraid if I stash it, what if it like disappears all right. or walks no, away? Uh, it makes sense. But Maya pauses at the door before she heads out and is going to try to find her way up to security. And she's like, what about Richard Bryce? Do we try to go to see him tonight? He may he may come here, you know. That's why I'm holding the back. He may he may come here tonight. Should we go? To, should we cut that off? Well, the they, they shouldn't let him in, right? He's been uh, he's yeah, on he's leave. Let go. Yeah. That's a good idea. We should we should tell him at security to let us know if they see him. Do not let I'll, him in. I'll tell them on the way up. Excellent. Excellent. Don't let him in and buzz you. Give him your cell phone. Okay. Yep. If he shows so up. Sean, so Sean, she'll leave, stop by the front, and basically tell them if Richard Bryce comes back, he's been he's on leave. If he comes back, we need to be alerted immediately. Here's the phone number. And then she's going to head up to the security office. Sounds good. The doctor did mention that uh, um, Richard is is on leave. And typically when when folks are on leave, we're not to question their, their reasoning and not uh, allow them. The, the, his badge won't work. We've turned it off temporarily, so. We have reason to believe he may try to come anyway, so just be on the lookout. Oh, of course, sure. He, it's, she can, All right. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so you go to the computer room. You were, okay, so Maya goes to the computer room. Mignon 
What are you going to do, Jerry? Um, uh, oh. I think we're waiting for our escort to dinner. Okay. Dinner. Yeah. We're wait- yeah. The whole thing is around, around the dinner. Okay. So, uh, Mantillo and Jerry are going to go to dinner. Yes. With third on floor. Third floor. Okay. And Maya, yeah. are you going with them? At the same time, Maya's okay. fully intending to. You should go to the security room, introduce herself if it's a new dude or a new woman. Sure. And basically pull up a chair and say, I'm here to, you know, FBI, I'm here to observe uh, how the facility operates. So she all through dinner and before, so she's seeing the, the coming out of the rooms, going into the rooms, yep. down the stairs, blah, blah, blah. She wants to see all that. Sounds good. So they have a method of the orderlies bringing, um, you know, they go to each room. Hey, it's dinner time. They, you know, the, the room is opened um, with a with a key card by the orderly. The person comes out and they they walk them to the cafeteria. Um, and it looks like they do it in in shifts. So they do like one group if it's not too big, and then they bring another group so the orderlies can go one by one. Um, just to not, I mean, there aren't that many third floor people at all. Right. I mean, no. I think there's, right. It's like no, fact, the six missing must've been almost you know. yeah, a majority of them. Right. Yeah. It's probably down to half. Yeah. Right. So yeah. it doesn't take much for them to be able to do it, but you know, guys like, uh, Richard Bryce aren't around, but they, they take staff and it's in a, in a very methodical order. Um, however they would do it, they would, I guess they would, um, go to the, the patient's room, open it up, bring the patient out, escort the patient down to the cafeteria where there is an orderly there, a couple orderlies, um, you know, surveying the, the room, um, the individuals. The pa- yep. Do the patients look worried, concerned? No. Any anguish? None. Okay. Zero. It's like a normal day. Going to get dinner. Hungry. Okay. Yeah. Do I see it? You do see it. Yeah. Just eyeing up Ed. Yeah. Ed Does he, doesn't really acknowledge Ed, you other than, you know, gives you the same treatment as he would Mantio. Kind of like yeah. one of these. Gets his food, you know, paper plate, blah, blah, blah. Um, and they, they sit at a table. Um, and the, it's like a, the old, like the outdoor Mickey D's tables, like big concrete, like tabletop, and then it's round, and then it's got the bench all the way around it, all like one piece, probably weighs about 700 pounds, you know, cemented into the floor. Um, nobody's flipping tables in here. And typically they're, they're asked to eat at separate tables, um, as they, they consume their food and they can talk amongst each other. It's not prison or anything. So it's not a big deal. Um, I think they eat with probably eat with all spoons. Well, are the women in here too? They are. Yeah. It's a, I mean, time. it's a common area. So they'll bring okay. men and women and it's in the middle kind of probably. Okay. Yeah. And, and sort of they dig into gory detail, but third, Total population of the third floors together. We're talking ten people, thirty people. Well, I think the whole facility is like thirty. Yeah, I thought the oh, whole facility is like thirty. Yeah. Oh, my bad. So, but so if we've got ten up like top, and of six of them are gone. Yeah. Yeah. yeah it's like there's five a handful of dinner. Yeah. Not including very Jerry. Yeah. I got you. Yep. Okay. Yeah. So they bring. So they bring the third. So we're not technically sitting with the third floor people. We're just sitting there. We're sitting Same in a room, room with the third floor Same people. Room. Okay. That's but the plan, only right? the third floor people. That's it. That's all. That's only all the third floor people. Yeah, they, they don't, don't bring eat. everybody yeah, all at once. That's what I meant. Yeah. No, I'm sorry. Yeah. That's what They're going to bring yeah. them in batches. They're not going to yeah. They bring too many people at once. It'll, if something happens, it'll be chaos. There's an A, B, and C uh, dinner. Yes. Do, <laughs> do all of the patients wear identification bracelets or something? Yes. I would like to see, and maybe I also motioned to Mantillo, that maybe we should glean some of the names off these other four bracelets or these other three bracelets and just Google them later to just see who they are. All right. 
Sure. Sure. Okay. Yeah, just... I'm curious how many more would have been easier mass just murder to ask the nurse what their names were, but yeah. Yeah, are you going to go up to each one, sit down at their table? No. and like, well, hey, man. Yeah, I mean, if we're right, we're doing the rounds. We're not just going to sit there. Well, I guess that's the question. Like, are you going up there to, yeah. to seem like you just want to eat dinner and see how they, or are you observe, like standing at the entrance, like the orderlies? And Yeah, no. No, I no I mean, we've got to get used to eat seated next to uh, Ed at some point. Some point. So I have an idea with you, but I'm not there, so I won't give it to you. It's fine. It's <laughs> all good. Do you? You could have had it earlier. Um, I'm not into subterfusion trickery. I'm just going to sit down um, across from him with my metal tray. All right. <laughs> You're eating the um, hospital food <laughs> before, before. I didn't say I was eating it, but I mean, I got to oh, look yeah. like I'm there to eat dinner, right? So. Mm-hmm. Uh, if I could, you know, trade my biscuits. So you you I'll sit the, across from Cherry Jello. He said, "I totally sit across from him." But before I go over there, I I whisper to Mantillo, "I'm like, you need to get my back, right?" I got it. All right. Um. Um. <clears throat> so I do. I sit right across from him. Okay. It's like, hey, hey Ed, how's it going? Good. You. All right. Cool. How's the food? You know, it's it's uh, mental mental health food. What are you gonna do? Yeah, I don't really eat this stuff anyway. Um, and then I take out a slice of pizza that I hid from us getting pizza, <laughs> and I, I give it to him under the table. Gross! <laughs> like That's pizza in your pocket. Something very <laughs> odd about this, but. <laughs> If I, had known this, if I had known this, I would have said, hey, Mantillo, you get a whiff of some pepperoni cheese pizza coming from somewhere. And it's, where'd you get pizza? We hit Jimmy John. We must have the worst just, pizza ever. Like, you said you ordered pizza. We did order pizza. But that's not what we ended up with. <laughs> right. Exactly. <laughs> 18 inch pepperoni. Here's a big John roasting. This, this, this game, this game has continuity issues. I think it's quite fitting. Yes. Yeah, we were commenting on that earlier. Pizza, it was the pizza cheesesteak. You give him the piece of pizza. He's like, "What is this? What like?" He goes, "He looks at you and says, did you honestly have this in your pocket?" No. It was tucked in my shirt. Ugh. Uh thank you. I triple paper towel that it. it was fine. Yeah, he. He he doesn't know what to. He he literally says, "I don't know what to say." All right. Well, <laughs> forget the pizza, and then I take it back, and I just start eating it. Uh, I mean, by all means, he is. That's uh, fine. Yeah, probably is like, better like than this stuff. Room temperature pizza. Well, I, I I was just trying to be nice. So, what are you up here to mingle with us commoners? Is that it? Oh yeah. Um, believe me, there's nothing common about you guys. Mm. This is an interesting place. Yeah, it is. Um, did you happen to see any notes lately? Notes? Notes? Uh, remember you kind of gave me a note? Mm. Mm -hmm. No? No, I don't. Doesn't ring a bell? No, I don't, don't think so. Okay. That's interesting. Uh, but you didn't get, you didn't find any notes passed under your door at all tonight. <gasps> That's right. That was you? It says Jerry on it. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You're Jerry. That's right. Jerry. I didn't, I yeah, forgot your, your name. Buddy, Jerry. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, I, I apologize. Yes. Um, That's right. Uh, yeah. Okay. Got it. You're Jerry. <laughs> it didn't say Jerry on it, though. Oh, it does say Jerry on it. Yeah. It does. Yeah, that's it's right. He was, he's Jerry. like, I got it. He was, I got it right here. And he taps his, taps his journal. Uh, what? Yeah. 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 Okay. You got it. Yeah, I got it. Did you see what it said on the other side? 
Uh, the important side, apparently. Yeah. The <laughs> book. Aren't you yeah. the author? Are you looking for your own book? No, 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 no. no. I mean, I, yes, author, acclaimed. I'll send you, you know, signed copies if you wish. They allow you to have them in here. Um, Maya, you see but, this happening. Mm-hmm. You see the, they're sitting together? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I feel like you I'm, saw the I'm whole, standing you saw the whole yeah, pizza thing. Yeah, you saw the whole pizza thing, probably. Exactly. Oh, yeah. Like, is, yeah, yeah, yeah. He's like, where did he get a slice of pizza from? We had sandwiches. <laughs> He was exactly. I'm really confused. Who, There's pizza. no doubt. I'm very who is confused. She in the, who's in the room with her? Is it still Michael or is it someone else? Might be Michael. Might have like a 12 hour shift. Yeah, my, yeah, Michael probably. So Michael probably hears some muttering under her breath, like, what is he? What? Where did he get the. <laughs> why is he. Why is he sitting with him? And Michael probably what? is like, you didn't give me exact instructions. That's your fault. And, and she's like, go to the bathroom. Go to the bathroom. Make, make him see you go to the bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> Michael's just like Michael's probably like you're what's what's up with your buddy? Like yeah. uh, he's so not anyway. he, he doesn't know how to follow instructions. Eddie, Ed, Edward, the book. The book. The book. So apparently your roommates mm -hmm. up on the third floor there, the ones that are not in the building anymore, mm -hmm. they were all pretty fond of a uh, of a book that they all seem to be reading, and, and I was just curious if you've seen this book or you know that they were all partial to a book. Not that I can think of. I mean, I don't know. No. I'm not usually in the, I mean, unless it comes up in passing and conversation that they're reading something, I might, I mean, like anybody ask them what they're reading, but I don't remember any. Why are okay. you asking about a book? No, because it just, um, we heard that there was a book that they liked. And I was just curious what they were reading. I mean, I'm an author and all. So, you know, books are kind of my thing. Oh. So I was just curious. Uh, did um, your your journal is a book. Yeah. Last time I checked. It is. Um, is uh, any chance they you like showed some of your daily writings with any of them? Mm -mm, no. Nope. No, that's that's for you. You and you alone. It's my personal personal memoir. It's okay. what I like. I mean, they say journalism journaling can be therapeutic. Yeah. Yeah. It, would you would you like an author's take on maybe some of your prose? Nope. In your not, journal? No. Nope. Not even in, not, not even in the least. Nope. <laughs> not even your buddy, Jerry. Look, 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 you seem like a nice guy, but I'm, I'm not, we, not. I think I met you like for 10 <laughs> minutes earlier today. I don't know if we're, I don't know if we're that on that level. No, no offense. So I have the original note he passed me. Yeah, sure. And I look around and I, I slide across the table. Maya, are you watching this? Yeah. I was watching the whole, all of it. Yeah. Oh, Maya, sorry. And Mantillo, Maya, uh, probably, right? Mantillo? Yeah, I'm right yeah. there watching yeah. this stuff. That's crazy shit. Um, <laughs> okay. You know, I yeah. pass it, and, and I want to see his reaction. Does he make any reaction whatsoever? Or No, he, he he's like... Look, he actually just looks at it. If you slide it in front of me, he looks at it on the table, and he goes... Okay. I would imagine Sean from Maya's viewpoint, she she can't see that very well, right? I would I would ima no. imagine that. But you're like, here we go, Jerry took something else out of his pocket. Yeah. I don't know yeah. what it is. Just, yeah, she's just sliding something totally across. Like, like a, what what is he doing? What is he doing? Right. Sliding something across oh. and he's um all right, so and I'm like doesn't ring a bell at all at this little piece of paper. He looks around, oh. he's like Jerry gets a buzzing text in his pocket. Uh oh. And Maya's Maya's like, hey, hey, na 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 na
It would probably be Knight Rider. The beginning. Yeah. Awesome. And then oh, it stops yeah. after five seconds. So she's yeah. been reading body language, and the text says, "Don't be in his face. You're going to scare him off. Get him alone." What it said. Oh, you got He's like, <laughs> and uh, you see this. Get a call there. Looking up at the camera. <laughs> <laughs> and he looks at the camera, and he's like, "Boy, you are, you're an odd one." He's cut out for this work, Jerry. Uh, so I'm like, um, hey, I think I have to go to the bathroom. <laughs> he, he, at this point, he's like, <laughs> I'm not that hungry anymore. And he's like, <laughs> but he doesn't want that old pizza crust. <laughs> he's like, I take, he ate it. I Jerry take, ate it. He took it back and ate it. I did. I take, my, I take my note oh, back. God. Yeah. He's like, uh, you know, and he kind of waves and, and an orderly comes over and uh, he's like, okay, you know, I'm ready. And yeah. he's, he I go to the bathroom and, and I, uh, I keep looking over my shoulder. Like, is he getting up? And I'm about to exit the door and I, I still look over my shoulder. Yeah. And I walk out and I'm just like hanging in the hall. And there's another camera and I look up and I'm like, what? What do you want me to do? <laughs> she just puts her phone away. <laughs> She's just like she can tell it's a lost cause. Yeah. So the dinner hour comes to it. I mean, I don't know what she is going to do. Ed's taken off to his to his room. Maya, you watch the the you get an understanding of the the process of procedure. Michael even tells you he's like, "This is what usually is done. This is how we do it." And da 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 da. You know, it seems to, to work pretty effectively. And then you see, like, Ed being escorted to his room. They put him in his room. The door is locked. They, you know, the orderly comes back. The third floor probably is the last one of the evening. Mm -hmm. And no one seems to be in any kind of distress. Over no, it's, it's standard routine stuff. Chow hall time. Bring, you know, like, yep, it's very methodical. Boom, ba boom, ba boom. Nothing out of the usual. Nobody weird wandering the halls. It seems like everything. For, it's well, almost for, as uh, if it's the end of a day. Except for, Jerry. you know, Jerry. Yeah. Except except for Jerry, Jerry and Mantillo. <laughs> yeah. Anybody carrying with, a book? Nobody a carrying a book that, that you notice. In his pocket. No. Other other than Ed carrying his journal. And no duffel bags or anything No like duffel that. bags. Nothing, okay. nothing out of the usual. You know, Michael's like pretty quiet. Oh, that the duffel bag is with Mantillo right now. Fair. Okay. Yeah. Her. yeah. I meant other duffel bags. Right. Yeah. <laughs> okay. All right. Well, I make my way back in and I find Mantio. And... Okay. Yep. Yeah, he didn't go for it. Yeah. Um, yeah, he uh he didn't even recall giving me the original note. He got my Maybe. note. He was confused by it. Maybe he's just uh playing hard to get. Or maybe he doesn't know what he's doing like everyone else in this place. That's possible too. Yeah, it's possible that he's actually crazy. Ultimate I'm almost getting to the point where it's possible we might have issues. Oh, I have no doubt we have issues. I mean, we know <laughs> you have issues. And I like nudge the bag on the floor of my foot. There's that too. Yeah. Okay, still right, carrying that bag around, huh? I think we're done. Okay. You guys, I mean, Maya could stay in the security room for a little bit. It, everything starts to come to a lull. People are starting to bed down, end of day, shift changes. The, even the shift changes are very uneventful. Nurses coming in, going to the nursing station. Um, the darkness starts to kind of settle in from the outside. Twilight, you know, it's getting to be evening. Um, lights from outside are starting to kind of maybe make their way in through open windows and, and um, light up the, the areas in a different way. But is uh, the, 
as as we found out previously, is like um, I forget what they call it, lights out or bedtime or whatever on the third floor, like eight o'clock, I think. Yeah, something like that. Yep. So Maya would probably wait until eight thirty, and then she'd come back down to the meeting room, meet the meeting room. So she wants to see them all secured. Yep. And she sees that process that they described to us. So they do walk through, nothing. right? Bed like yeah. eight o'clock. Yeah. They go They're checking door to door. They look inside, make sure the patient's all right. If there's people that need to be restrained in each room, they do that. Close the door, uh, make sure it's locked. They do like chink, chink, or badge or whatever. Maybe it closes automatically, and then they pull it. They don't make sure it's locked. And, and each of the six rooms that were had the the agents in them, no one no one comes or goes. Those those doors all just stay closed. Correct. Correct. Okay. Yeah, nobody comes or goes. The doors aren't open, but they, you know, I think they would check them anyway, just out of habit. They're like, kunk, 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 you know. Okay. So. All right. Mantillo and Jerry, you guys end up down below in the lounge. Yeah. Rendezvous. Okay. Rendezvous with Maya. Yeah. So you guys are in the conference room. Going over probably, so, you know, it's not midnight it's not one o'clock you might be still tired you can go through some documents that the nurses have left maybe it's the welcome packages whatever procedures policies um probably some briefs on some of the patients that aren't overly confidential um, or at least the doctor didn't feel it was confidential and you could start reading over those so you got you know conference room a couple cots you guys got your Jackets off and the ties unloosened, collars are unloosened. You know, hair is a little bit more disheveled, and yeah, papers all over the place. I would imagine. Am I am I picturing this correctly? I think so. Yeah. yeah. All right. Okay. I think except that Mantia probably is uh, crashed out on the cot. Okay. I don't think she's reading papers. Fair enough. <laughs> all right. So Maya's probably, Maya's probably got a whiteboard to meet the meeting room. So she's probably got all kinds of shit drawn up on the whiteboard. Yes, there is a whiteboard. That put, my, that, that put Mantillo to sleep. Right. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And you're she's tired though. Probably tired. sitting there contemplating, like kicking back and thinking maybe there's probably crushed cups of coffee in there and creamer, yep. and stuff of sugar everywhere and stuff. So, um, some time goes by. And each one of you hears, um, you, you, you seem to have fallen asleep somehow, either subconsciously or consciously fallen asleep. And you wake up to the sound of some, some clanging that appears to be coming um, outside of the room. And as you oh, wake up, I am up. Yeah. As you wake up, up on my feet. Yeah. You, um, you wake up since Mantillo volunteers, you look around the room and you are in a bed and you look around. There's a window in front of you. There's oh, a fuck. bookshelf to the left <laughs> and kind of a closet. <laughs> Uh, armoire and you have your arms to your side and there are straps but um, what looks like they would be restraints are not buckled and there's a glow from coming in from the window um, probably from a light outside of this room and as you look to your left there's a door that looks very similar to the doors that that you've seen that have that orderlies have passed and you've inspected and things of that nature. And you've got a set of slippers at your at the foot of your bed, and you're wearing uh kind of like pajamas of some kind. Solid color. And Maya and Jerry, you experience the same thing in in your own rooms. That was my question. We're I'm in my own room when you I are, wake up by yourself. Each one of you. Yeah. Check the slippers. Your slippers are at the side uh, of your bed. The two left foot. 
for Jerry? Probably. <laughs> no, they're just they're two sizes too small. They don't fit, they don't fit him. It's going to be annoying. And we'll, um, and we'll yeah, I feel like and we'll gonna, end right yeah. There. Roll, roll, roll credits is excellent. Fade too much to black. This has been a Litterbox Studio production. production.